What up, what up, what up, everybody? Hey, man, we got a juicy day today, man. Juicy. Do that sound? That's yeah, that, yeah, that uh, we got a great conversation. Is that better? <laughs> Start the day with a pause. Like, bro, what? Not pausing Easy. ever. I'm 51 years old. I'm not pausing. What up, everybody? How y'all doing out there mm-hmm. today, man? We want to thank everybody for tuning in. It is the Grind 24-7 podcast. I'm your guy, G, and this is my main man. The Dev. Dev. How y'all doing? Yeah. Dev. Dev. He's back. Hey, what what uh, episode is this? This is episode 10, man. Woo! Episode 10, man. Wow. 10 weeks. Mm, that's love. I like that number. I yeah. couldn't wait till we get to the double digits. I got tired of seeing people. Episode 33. Episode 675. Yeah, I was about to say, people, the in, people in the hundreds. We, yeah, we chilling. But, I mean, I don't mind being a pup in this. That let me know that we got a long way to grow. Yeah, yeah definitely. Long way to go. And, and I will say, how can I say this to be politically correct? Because I don't want to choke nobody. Where we at now, just starting, is far better than some other people started their podcast. Other, 100%. Yeah, the, the, our, our professionalism, the way we, our camera guys, our whole crew, right. everything we got going on, we are ahead of where we should be for just 10 episodes. Even right. our setup, how clean it is, how crisp it is, the sound, everything. So Our quality our, of content. Yeah, the everything, way we our whole yeah. show setup, everything yeah. is, is great. Yeah. Damn, 10 episodes. What's your favorite? My favorite? I was, honestly, I was thinking about that. I don't know. I think my favorite really is, honestly, probably the first one. First one? The first one. Okay. Mine's is Dr. Umar. The, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, he like the ignorant that, shit. Yeah, I like the ignorant shit. Ignorant, yeah. ignorant, ignorant. Mine is, mine is the first one because it was just more so like us jumping out there and just kind of like being ourselves yeah. and just being natural flowing and all that type of stuff. But I also then, like the one with, uh, you wasn't here, you was fishing. I was. Right, I was like, I like that one too. You you can't say it. But not because of you, because of Sheeta. Hater, hater. I like Sheeta. He's a fucking hater, yo. Sheeta, you did your shit on that Yes, one. she did. I didn't interview her great. You did all right. Hater. He's a hater. <laughs> God, you could have dove deeper into stuff. You got ADHD. You be on and off a of topic so quick. Yeah. Keep you got a point no. there. Enough of that. You got a point there. Next thing. Yeah. So, uh, wow. Ten episodes. That's 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 dope. Yeah. That is dope. Yeah. That is dope. That is dope. So what's your, other than Dr. Umar, what's your next favorite one? Hmm. Because I knew that was going to be yours. I think the last two. Eight and nine. Yeah. I think, um. Uh, yeah, eight and nine is is pretty good. I like. I kind of like all of them. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like all. That's of what them. I, I. When I would go back and listen, yeah. a lot of times I'd be like, I like how funny this one is, yeah. or I like the topic in that one. Cause yeah. I even like the uh, transgender one a little bit because it was so much knowledge. Yeah, yeah, that was dope. I'm glad you mentioned that, but we'll get to that later. But uh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of take each one differently. Mm-hmm. They kind of like whatever in the mood I'm in. So I can more pick serious. one to be right there for that, like right, you know. Right. So right. I, I Even find to talking about strippers and yeah, yeah. We need to do an episode on strippers because they need love too. <laughs> we did one already. No, a complete show on strippers. Everything it take to be a stripper. We gotta have a stripper on the show then. Oh, say less. I know Coco <laughs> Pearl. <laughs> Have all of them just yeah. sitting around us. Just sitting around us. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have like ones all over. Cause they say something smart. <laughs> Throw them a one. I like bananas. <laughs> Throw them down. Girl, you're a fucking genius. <laughs> yeah, I like strippers. Strippers, yeah. they need love. They, they, they need love too. Yeah, I like strippers. Yeah. But all right, man. How was your week? Uh, Week or weekend? Week? Everything? Yeah, what you doing? Now? Everything was good. Um, It was a good week here. Training. Um. Also, I had fun this week um, preparing for the show. Yeah. So, you know, I, I told you every – I get anxious, especially when it starts getting closer to Friday because all of the, the research that we do, it becomes the Super Bowl. I can't yeah. wait. I can't wait. Yeah, I know. That's why we always get into arguments before the show. Yeah, and I'd be mad because I'm like, <laughs> damn, we should have used that for the show. Right, right, So I right. guess that will come with – Time. Time where... We know not to argue, just say yeah, the don't ammunition. even say nothing. Because sometimes we get on camera and we be like, yeah. we already talked about everything. We already everything. talked about so the energy and everything be gone. Right. I don't want to say energy, I want to say passion. The passion and and the love you have for... That conversation already got spilled out. Because so, you got you holding all this information. Yeah, so I yeah. got to hold my water because, you know, I run out to you. 
You yeah, good I, at it. I be trying to. I you stay good. away from you. Yeah. Like before the show, I go out, I yeah. gather my last little bit of th- mm-hmm. notes and stuff like that. I'm then, running you down. Yeah, he like we're dead. I want to argue right now. <laughs> I'm ready to argue right now. I believe. No. That's why I start leaving the gym when before the show. Yeah. I start leaving because you be distracting me and shall be trying to get my thoughts together. That's on purpose. But uh, <laughs> like, we're dead at. We're dead at. I know he's studying. We're dead at. Go call him. I'm gonna start hiding in the bathroom. Stall. Yeah. But no, I, I'm. Uh, I, I'm. I'm. It's a good. It's gonna be a good show today. Yeah. Especially. I think we getting better with uh, all around research. Um, camera guys, they getting better. We getting comfortable yeah. with each other. Right. We're getting a feel for each other. Right. I know when to shut up and let you have your moment. Not over talk each other yeah. and stuff so like that. It comes it comes with growth. Like I'm I'm learning. Um, remember that today. No, this shit is on fire. <laughs> remember hey. that hey. shit today. Hey. <laughs> remember that shit today. Camera crew. Remember the uh, if I wink, put his shit on mute. Uh, uh. <laughs> Yo, hey, if he start winning, I'm gonna wink, hit his mic on mute. No, we don't hear that shit. Put them on mute. Straight facts. But no, um, I, I'm 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 in a happy place with actually saying I have a podcast. Right. Do you do it? Are you yeah, doing it? Yeah. Yeah. People are like, bro, what you do? I'm like, I am a performance coach, yeah. personal trainer, and I'm a podcaster. Oh wow. And that should be like, oh shit. Sexy, right? Oh, yeah, I got my own podcast. Go check us out on yeah. YouTube, yeah, social yeah, media. Yeah, da, da, da. Yeah, 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 that should be easy. Yeah, I gotta do that. I'm a performance trainer. Yeah, you just a performance trainer. You can't put the other tag. Performance and a podcaster. Let's see. You You're, can say beat maker, I, producer, author. Yeah, you don't want me to keep going. Go ahead, keep going. We'll be here for a while, y'all. <laughs> get a cup, get a cup of coffee. <laughs> Pop your shit, bro. Need a Snickers. Tell ain't going people nowhere. what you do. Nah, everybody know. I do give you that though, because I'll be like, we got the same twenty four. And I don't know if it's because of our day structure, but you get so much done. Whereas, though, for me, I can only really focus on, like, certain things throughout the day. Yeah. Like, right now, and this time, if I'm training, I'm training. Yeah. This time, I'm like, all right, I'm going to do some research. Do some research. This time, if I'm, you know what I mean? If I'm yeah. chilling, I can't put my brain on anything. I got to relax, and then I'm training again. I Whereas, see. though, you be, like, training, beats. I'm writing a book in this hour. Yeah. The next thing you know, I'm training again. Yeah, you know? no, I got to. I got to get the it same in there. 24. Yeah, because, like, if but I'm I need going more hobbies. Like, yeah. Yeah, told y'all he don't do shit. I've been trying to tell y'all since episode one. Did he ask me did he work yesterday? No, I ain't work yesterday. Not, who did? Barely. He had yeah. eight stop. people come in. Had to stop. It was not and eight. and the way you schedule your day is different from mine. Where mine be running, I have one person, one person, one. You gonna person. try to blame me, y'all? Duh, 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 duh. You gonna you try have, to blame me? You'll have eleven to one. Chill until four o'clock, then you got four to six, and then you mm, done. Mm, mm. But within those hours, you'll train three people here, three people there. Oh, he's people. such a storyteller. <laughs> he's such a storyteller, y'all. I'm not even. I'm leaving it alone. I'm letting him. Remember when I said this is? I'm learning to just shut up. Well, this is one of those moments. You just let him have his moment. I'm not entertaining the foolery. Where my should be like twelve people before he even walk in the door. Bro, you, and then he's like, Dev, you ain't do shit today. I'm like, bro, I just been I've been up at 4 30 and then just grinding. You gotta stop. I can't deal with this. By the time you walk in, your day just Yo, starting and I already service. This is what I'm tripping on. He's training, he's showing him a board, then right after that, he's putting a video together. What the fucking training? It's called doing? multitasking. I thought you said you can't <laughs> multitask. It's like, uh, no, no, no. Nah, good, good. So uh Let's get started, man. Yeah, man. We got a packed show for you guys today. We got a a, a, a packed show. A yeah. lot of information you guys going to want to hear. Um, a lot so, of... Yeah, yeah. A lot of information <laughs> that you guys want to hear. Trying to get it all, all right. out. Um, we're going to save some, a lot of time for the pod because that's a nice, juicy c- conversation. Yeah. We're going to talk about... Main topic, because I know a lot of parents just want to hear what we have on yeah, the so main topic. The main topic is... Uh, Oh, I left my takes. Is multiple sports, uh, athlete playing multiple sports, good or bad? Specialized athletes versus multi sports athletes. You did it versus? I ain't studied that way. Smarter. He trying to change the topic. <laughs> no, that's, right. that's what it's called. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, specialized it. It. sports. We just did our research a yeah, little bit. Specialized different. athlete sports versus multi sports athletes. Mm-hmm. Af- multi athletes? No, multi sport athletes. I had to get it right. But that's how that's how y'all gonna word that. You going I'll, I'll send it to you so you don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even paying me but no yeah, fucking yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, but that's how it goes. But it's, it's definitely a controversial conversation because yeah. you 
you try to juggle which one is better for the athlete. Mm -hmm. A lot of parents try to be like uh, push their athletes in a certain way, yeah. their, their children in a certain way, yeah. and it's like which one is better. better. For, for, yeah. for, so we'll dive in that today. Um, but before we do, one, I want to talk about Eagles. It's the Eagles and Chiefs week. Whew. So it's the rematch from the Super Bowl. Yes. You ready? I'm ready. They they in uh, KC. KC. Monday night. Yeah. I'm going to get some new green shit. <laughs> yeah. Right. Was it last week you came in at uh, Kelly yeah. Green? Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, ever since becoming a full-time Eagles fan right out, what, what made me really, like, get involved was the actual – uh, participating in certain things, actually Being, participating in the fan part, maybe yeah, the really, fanship. Because I never word? really, yeah, I never really been a fan. Like maybe Green Bay, hmm, but I really, but I really you're not wasn't in Green Green Bay. You can't, you can't feel it. You yeah, can't, like it's nothing for. If you celebrate, you celebrating by yourself with yeah. your cheese head and shit like that. Yeah, because now you can go to a bar or you can go downtown. Like especially if they want to play off. And game. and that joint be crazy. It'd be dope. The atmosphere would be crazy. So that. That energy, you know, I love all that. So That's why I said you got you got to go tailgate. I don't know if I'm doing. You that. got to, bro. That dirty. At shit. least one time. Dirty as tailgate. You gotta you gotta find I'm the right group of people that do that shit right, or is is not enough. I mean, not a lot, but a lot uh, enough as far as setup. I'm cool. Banging I, ass music, I, banging ass I food, ain't going on, banging ass going, drinks. I, Before you even go into the game, you already lit. So why I'm even going? To go watch the game and then afterwards. I can't. I'm lit. Bro, <laughs> when I get lit, I ain't paying attention to shit. It makes the game more it's social, like, yeah. I guess. You're rooting for the wrong people. I'm drunk. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't want no positive yeah, shit. I know yeah, how I no, get. That shit, uh, that shit fire. Yeah. What else we got? Um, um, yeah. I think that's it, right? That's all of the uh, giving you a little tease we got. Yeah. Is it time to go? You ready to go? You trying to save a lot of time for that. Yeah, yeah, I'm smart. <laughs> you cut all this shit <laughs> <laughs> Get all this shit out of the way. Oh, all right. All right that's cool. it, right? Yeah, sure. Say the prayer and let's do it. Uh, No, we going to do... I got some topics before. Would you... I got a couple things. I got See, a couple things. Now you rewind. All right, go no, ahead. no, no. I I just see my notes. I got a couple things. So uh, Ooh, over the weekends, <laughs> over the weekend, uh, a lot of things been going on in the news. Yeah, yes, a lot of things. Yeah. I, did you watch the uh, Jeezy and Nia Long? Yeah. What you think? Uh, I think it's good to see a black man get in depth about his emotions and all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. But Jeezy bought that with the lifestyle that he was living. Like, I didn't get that part. I didn't care about none of that. I was looking at Nia, Nia and goddamn. <laughs> no, no. I was looking at them flirting with each other like, yeah. ooh. So here's the twist. If it's not no better people to look at if I'm at an ex, if I'm your ex-girl, ex-man, and look like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeezy look amazing. Right. Skin suit, all, yeah, suit. suit. Like, you know what I mean? He like a grown-ass man. Right. And Nia, she's just Nia. And the fact that, you know, he was making a cry. Yeah. Saying, he was saying a lot of shit. Yeah, he was like, yeah, I got you first. Yeah. It's okay, though. You, yo, I'm, I got some. <laughs> she was okay, some, though. Hey, they were talking about relationships. Jeezy, come on in. Real niggas don't cheat. Said it just like <laughs> yeah. that. She's like, they don't? I, they He's don't. Like, no, huh? I don't, yeah. And then here she go, I dated drug dealers. I said, oh, <laughs> it's on. I forgot it's all about on, that part. It's on and he like, really? Dude? Really? Yeah. He's yeah. like, yeah, we come from the same. Huh? Nee, I ain't never seen you on the corner. Right, right. <laughs> you gotta stop right. with that flirting shit. So whoever her ex is, it's he's the sitting there basketball ball. Basketball ball, yeah. right? He looking at Jeezy like, damn. <laughs> and then he got then Jeezy got his ex. Nee, damn, long, yeah. damn, we so ain't got a shot at her. Audience, don't be surprised if you if see you don't see them two together. If you don't see them two, woo! And it was some heat yeah, going right, between that. Right. I didn't see, I ain't pay attention to what? that. I just thought it was a dope interview that was getting wrong. Damn, damn all that. <laughs> She told me something, you, you, you making me cry. Give me a laugh. And she, I said, ooh, he made her laugh. He didn't make her cry. cry. Right. He told her, I'm got a real vulnerable. nigga. Yeah, he got vulnerable with him. I'm a real nigga. And then shit. they going to tell me something, you know, you my sister. All right. Yeah. All right. He can have sex with you. He ain't your sister. Just right. <laughs> no, that shit yeah. was dope. No, I I, uh, I I like the interview, though. Yeah, okay. And then I got, someone has to tell me. What did Will Smith to do? What did he do to anybody? Like, what is going on with my man? Oh, how they were saying that he... Uh, allegedly, yeah. his best friend of 40 years. 
Yeah, I seen that shit too. Yeah, and I, I messed up because my notes in the office of the podcast that he was actually on with the pod. Don't worry about it. We won't give him props anyway. So yeah. no, I'm only joking. <laughs> but he was on a podcast and allegedly, well, I, I can't say allegedly this part because that was facts. His friend of 40 years got on there and was saying the later part of their relationship, he was a friend to but, Will, but, but Will, Will wasn't, wasn't a, a friend, friend to him. Yeah. So now he's on this platform spilling his guts out. So allegedly, they was doing something and they was looking for Will and they, and they couldn't into, find him. They walked into that. Yeah, room. he was like, they was calling me on my phone and walkie talk. I told him, hold up, I got. <laughs> he just happened to have Dwayne. Uh, what's his last name? Martin. Martin. If anybody don't know who Dwayne Martin is, Dwayne. What's that show? Martin. Oh no, no, it's Gina off of Martin Lawrence. Husband. Yeah, but yeah. I'm trying to think of the, he had the a, sitcom uh, he was on. Was he it like had, half he had, and half or something? Something like that. He had a sick hat, sick, sitcom. But allegedly, the friend of Will Smith had the keys to Dwayne Locker. I mean, well, room. Room. Yeah. Opened the door, and they was having sex. So I'm here's my twist. If I walk in a room, don't take this no wrong way, Dad. No, I'm not even going to use that. I was about to say, why you always use me? I'm not going to use you. If I walk in a room. He always use me when it comes down to examples like this. Because I'm like, you, bro, why you want to see me naked? Because you keep what grinding kind of... me up on the show, man. You be you be doing me bad in here. We get me out of there. So, so listen, if I walk in a room, I pop the door open. Boom. I see two men having sex. I'm going to hurry up and shut the door. Right. If I see a man and a woman having sex, I'm hurt. It's shocking. I wasn't looking for that. Right. I was looking for or the person be, I was looking for yeah. to see some sex shit going on. I'm gonna shut the door real quick. This man said allegedly, what "Gotta put it out there." Two women having sex. I made pause. <laughs> oh. Shit look good right there. I might want to be in this room. (laughs) Hello. Yeah, I'm in the closet. I want it. You know what? Carry on. You won't even know I'm here. (laughs) Well, go ahead. Just don't have nothing important in that closet because all that shit's sticky. (laughs) But if I walk into a room and I get shocked like that, I'm going to, oh, shit, hurry up and shut the door. Right. This is where it gets iffy for me. He said, allegedly, he popped the door open. And he saw Will and Dwayne having sex. Mm -hmm. Then he says, Will was bent over and Dwayne was tearing his ass up. So you like how long was you sitting yeah, there? Yeah, how long was you watching? To know somebody getting their ass tore. (laughs) Right. So that kind of that was hmm, oh Oh, yeah, he fucked the shit out of him. (laughs) So that kind of like I don't know about some truth to that, so. I don't, I don't know. know. I did see Jada Pickett go on, a, go yes. on and say, like, uh, they're going to sue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she did say that. So, yeah. another thing, uh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that was. I might have been that pork. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so that shit. yeah, I want to go back to the transgender um, conversation show we did. Mm-hmm. So, apparently, this was on the news. Turn it uh, all around and shit. Huh? I told, I, I told you I had a what? lot. This, this, I told you this was this, shat. Man. I was packed today. I had a lot of info. Central Buck School, um, they they came to an agreement. Well, one agreement, six to three. Transgender, blah, blah. Transgender athletes must play with the team of the sex they was was assigned at birth. Yeah. What do you think? So, oh, not to cut you off. Red Lion is a red light. Red Lion did it too. It's a couple yeah. schools that's had that meeting and so they came up with that rule. What the organizations or the powers that be that runs that sports organization stuff, whatever they call it, uh, they're allowing the schools and to govern them themselves yeah. to make that decision for themselves. So it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I mean, great. But at the same time, it's still going to be one of those things where it could change at any moment or, you know what I mean? Well, they had two different speakers that stepped up and I guess gave their point of view. One of them said the right of a women and girls play sports. It gives the opportunity for scholarships, accolades, plus it keeps them safe. Right. Right. One of the things we talked about was keeping them fair and keeping it safe. Then you had one that didn't make sense to me when she said... When we tell transgender girls and boys that they can't play sports, they're missing out on important childhood experiences and life lessons that it teach. So, yeah. right there, 
is wrong because they never said that you can't play sports. They just said the sport that you play, you have to be born that. Right, but they not they not saying that transgenders can't play sports. They're putting you where you are at but birth. But that's that was the nuance that I was talking about as far as like full inclusion of being uh if you trans women you see yourself as a woman they mm -hmm. don't even even want to be considered trans I right got you. so when it comes down to it, it's one of those things of they want full inclusion that's yeah. it no, so, I get it. so I get it. if you're not fully including us then it's yeah now it's like you taking away the right for me to participate in this sport yeah I, I got it i got it so that's all i don't want that, to stay too because we can run down that rabbit hole on that we got our own rabbit yes. hole to run down yeah all right so uh i guess that's it for news uh yeah. any new music out there uh i'm still loving um drake just dropped his deluxe to his for all the dogs scary hours three I listened to it this morning. It wasn't, How was it? it wasn't anything. I like to join with J. Cole on it, but mainly because of J. Cole. Yeah. But other than that, I ain't hear nothing that was like more so. So it was the same as the one he just dropped? Pretty much. It wasn't anything where it was like, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're about to go on tour. Yeah, but I'll I'll be excited that because of J. Cole. But I thought he was taking a music break. Didn't he just say that? Yeah. He just said I was taking a that was two hype. year. Yeah. That was, was hype. Like, what the heck? Make you, Hove did it. Make you feel like this is the last time you ever going to hear from me. And then buy everything I got. It was, yeah, it, it worked. Yeah. It worked. It worked. And yeah. you, you got to realize he's one away from number ones from Michael Jackson. You're going to retire. Yeah. yeah. Only person that did that, that had a chance to break a greatness rule was Barry, Barry Sanders. Sanders yeah. yeah. And like didn't care about it. Yeah. Like, bro, you, you're not going to retire. That's a cold setup. Right. Oh my God, we're not gonna. Because I'm telling you, when Jay did it, you mean this Jay last? First of all, Jay was gonna retire after reasonable doubt. I thought Jay retired like four times. He did. <laughs> Sorry. That's and then, yeah, he died right now. But no. he still hop on the track no, no, every, no. Every, no. every now and again. He's not retired. I ain't even wanna talk about that doc. I watched the whole thing about the hove and all that, the yeah. life of the book of hove and all that. But he didn't retire. He said he needed a reason to write music. He just didn't want to talk about music. He needed something important to talk about. But that's where I say a lot of yeah. greats, that's where they write so much. So my problem, like Lil Wayne and 2 Chains mm -hmm. came out with their project. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to listen to Lil Wayne, even though he's my favorite rapper. It's like he's not really talking about anything different than everything I've heard from him already. How many more similes and comparisons and Weezy F Baby, yeah. please say that, you know what I mean? It's one of those things like how many more times can we hear that? Give me something yeah. different. And although like his lyrics can still like pop a little bit, mm. but body of work, it's hard for me to like go and listen to a whole project with Wayne because he's not talking about anything different. Yeah. He didn't grow from the same Lil Wayne that I heard in 2002. Well, yeah, well, I could listen to Hove. I'm good. Yeah, but Hove actually talk about real shit. He talk his age. Yeah. And 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 saying that, that was the whole gripe that Joe Button had with Drake. He was saying, yo, make grown music. You're this now in life. But that's You're not Drake's catering, audience. But that's what that's what but that's not his audience. That's what Joe was trying to say. It's not his audience. I don't know. It's not. I mean It's not his audience. Drake audience is so We gotta get y'all a mic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll get y'all a mic yeah, right there. Uh Drake audience is soft niggas that like singing music and then women. But that ain't I don't know. He got a cater. In to order him. for him to really hop into that rap lane, he attaches himself to a little baby, J. Cole, and all of them. And that's where you start to see him start to spit a little bit. You're like, all right, he got it a little bit, but mm. I don't, I'm, I don't I never, think that's his 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 audience. Because if Drake start rapping about real shit, what are you gonna rap about? He don't got a he don't got a female that we know about really. He haven't really gone through anything that's super publicized besides he whacked to me. Yeah. I mean, I'm uh, only I, I'm I'm gonna be honest. The last album that I liked the Drake was if you're reading this is too late. Mm -hmm. That that was the only album that I love. Anything else he put out was eh. I like that. I like nothing was the same. Nah, I don't know none of them. Only I only know that one album. That's it. Nothing was the same. What else? Yeah, if you're reading this, it's too late. Yeah. I like old Drake with headlines and all that stuff. Who? Mm -hmm. Too far gone. Too far. Mm -hmm. Don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but that's yeah. that one. But anyway, yeah, but I think it. that's uh that's it. You got anything? 
Uh, no, I pretty uh, much it. Yeah, that was good. Uh, uh, so I guess it's now time to get the show started. Uh, oh. Before we get the show started, as we do all the time, we say our prayer. Dear Lord, we want to thank you for waking us up this morning. We ask you that you continue to bless us each and every day. We ask you that you bless this podcast abundantly to the point that when they ask, how did we do it? Only thing we could say, if it wasn't for God, none of this is possible. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Let's get uh, rocking and rolling. Not yet. I remember what I want to talk about. Draymond Green. Choke the shit out of Rudy, Rudy Choke man. <laughs> Take a choke man. Hey, that's yeah, he, not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about all the people that were sitting around while he was choking up. <laughs> His teammates would not do nothing. So nobody seen this? He like, he like this. <laughs> Nigga, help me. <laughs> help me. <laughs> you niggas just like, oh, no, don't do that. Draymond talking shit, go to sleep. Go to sleep. What did he say? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> no, yeah, he, call he your mama. Call your mama. So if you slow it down. If you slow it down, you understand why he choked him. I, you understand why he choked him. Because it looked him. like he was going for Clay Throat. Clay was, he had Clay Throat. Mm -hmm. People don't see that part because yeah. it happened so goddamn fast. Right. When you slow it down, he had mm -hmm. Clay Throat. And yeah, as then. his teammates supposed I to see come, that shit. Here come, here come Batman. Yeah. Batman. <laughs> no, he's not Batman. He's more like Bang. Yeah, I'm about to say. Yeah, he's not Batman. He's Bang. I was born in the dark. <laughs> I was born in the dark. Yeah, but I said that was a natural reaction. Yeah. Me understanding Draymond Green's background as far as like being from Detroit in a the dog. Yeah. Now he can play back. Oh, well, that's another show. Yeah, he can play but, back in the day. Yeah, he can but, play back in the day. But no, like him being from like Detroit and all that stuff, his natural instinct is he want that type of yeah. that type of action. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, that's where we going with it? Yeah. Oh, all right. I have he's no one, problem getting ejected. He's the one that says, I ain't gonna start no trouble. But I right. damn sure ain't gonna run away from it either. No, nah, he start trouble too, though. Mm. He be starting shit. He poke. <laughs> All right, say what you want. <laughs> he poke. He be talking shit that whole game. Yeah. He just be waiting for something to pop off. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, that's no I'm lying. Had. He a troublemaker. That shit was like two minutes into the home. game. He yeah. socked his man. Yeah. Hey, don't y'all play together? Right. How you gonna do that? Yeah, How no can pick. I be on your team now? I know you sock me. That shit happened two minutes into the game. That shit was 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was like, as soon as that joint popped off, you see he popped right into action, sprint. Yeah. He could have been talking to the ref. His radar went off. <laughs> he went right down there. Didn't miss. Radar was on point. Could have right. been a sniper. He didn't make a mistake and grab <laughs> right. somebody else. So he had to turn him around. He went that. straight at him. <laughs> Go to sleep, little nigga. Yeah, call your mama. <laughs> call your mama. <laughs> call your mama. What do you do as Rudy, yo? He got to see me after that. Bro, you're not going to choke me. In front of millions. And he ain't let go. No. He dragged them all the way down to the other side of the court. And again, where was your homies? Why are they watching this man choke me? And they all they all were standing around like I they didn't see that shit. I know. I don't, I don't see nothing. You see something? <laughs> nope. The other Everybody one like fake grabbing like, no, yeah. don't do it. Don't. don't. The other one talking about something? I never liked them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he had no help. That would have. Yeah. But yeah, I would have talked on that. That joint, yeah, that I mean, that joint all over my social media. That's bad. That's bad. All right. We got that out the way. All right. <sighs> all right. So, so how you want to do this? Uh, we got to go main topic first. Let's get this. Right, let's, let's get, get this, this going. Topic. So main topic. Uh, main topic. I what did you hear. label that? Because I just I labeled it. Multi, multiple multi sport yep. athletes. Is it good for them? Specialized or? athletes or multi sport athletes. So by specialized athletes, we are pretty much talking about one like, sport guy. athletes that are playing one sport and one sport only. Yeah. And then you also have the ones that grew up playing multiple sports. Correct. And is that a good thing for them, or is it a hindrance? You and want me to go? I, we oh, could, go ahead. Well, you want to talk about facts first, or you how you want to go about this? Because we ain't really talk about this yeah, part all week. It's not even. Yeah, just it's go. not even. I'll feed all right, in. So we both got me, facts. I want to talk about uh, one personal experience, and then we'll dive into um, other things. Because I, I was a kid that grew up playing multiple sports, mm -hmm. and my, my two predominant sports was football and track. Mm -hmm. But... So the old school way they told me in order to become faster in football, you gotta run track. That's what they told me. A lot, but I know. So what happened was I was known to be a fast kid. Like I was always fascinated kids my age. But as soon as I start running track, if anything, it's like I not necessarily didn't get faster because of course I got faster, but that gap that I used to have, I didn't have anymore. Okay. And this was over years and years of running track. But what happened was they start training me instead of doing sprints, 
they start having me run mid distance and long distance runs. Change the whole body up. Right. So for me, that experience for me, I naturally was like, no, you don't have to play multiple sports yeah. because of the fact that if you do, it can also hinder your performance in your main sport. Whereas though in this sport you was known for speed, you start running long distance runs and training your slow twitch muscles. What happens is you're going to be good at endurance, yeah. but you're not necessarily getting any faster yeah. as far as sprinting wise. So for me, it was just like uh, personal experience. I don't. I don't really see the point of playing multiple sports. Yeah, I, and so I had. I was that guy that mm -hmm. said you should play one sport. After I started doing the research, it wasn't the research that made me like, oh, wait a minute. No, it took me back to what you just said. Mm -hmm. Yo, I did play a lot of sports. I played basketball. Right. I played football. I ran track. We played baseball. We did all of these things. And I'm like, wait a minute. Damn, it may be some truth to that. But then what I realized, that was cool up until a certain point. Yeah. Then it should be shut off. So for the parents, it's cool as youth to start playing my, my tape. Yeah. I'm sure you're going to say something to add to it. Mm -hmm. We're saying the same thing. For once. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Athletes should play multiple sports until 10th, 11th grade. And for me, I say they can carry on through that. However, they do have to decide to specialize That's why in I said, one sport. If you're looking to go to college for whatever sport, get a scholarship or whatever it may be, multiple sports, youth, yes, beautiful. Um, is so many different uh, mm -hmm. when I, like so many different benefits from multi sports. Let's let's dive into that. Multi well first multiple multiple sports should be played. My opinion up to tenth and eleventh grade. Tenth and eleventh grade, you should be narrowing down, figuring out what I'm getting great, what I'm about to go get a scholarship for. The benefits of playing multiple sports is motor patterns, uh, energy systems, movement skills. Agility. Yeah. There's so many different things. Uh so I also got you 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 can you start you start to balance your muscle groups. So what I yes. mean by that is yes. I'm a football player and then I go over and start playing soccer. Not only am I building up my upper body as far as like being able to take hits and all that type of stuff, I also build up a certain level of foot uh, movement. Foot movement, coordination and all that stuff within my feet. And um, your 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 Muscle units shift into a whole different gear. Mm -hmm. Gear, your nervous system jacks up crazy. Right, because from football mm -hmm. to the soccer. Right, because that's your your start stop change of direction is ten times faster in soccer than it is football. And I feel like in like for example with soccer, you never know where that ball going to go. That's what I'm saying. So you got to be able to shift, yeah. turn, then run or sprint, stop, yeah. do some footwork, jog again. So that's you also have an endurance component to soccer as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, so that, um, injury prevention. Bingo. So this goes both ways though, because mm -hmm. injury prevention is like one of those things of, you can overuse a muscle yes. by playing a sport year round. Baseball. Baseball, basketball, volleyball, three sports that I really see it in. Like all our volleyball girls right now usually have like bad knees or yeah. bad ankles and stuff like that because all they do all year round is play volleyball. Which is, they're, they're, in other words, your movements are the same every time you play. Yeah, I'm jumping, landing, moving, jump, land, et cetera, et cetera, yes. over so and over and over those again. Those same muscles, tissues, bones all take a beating. Right. But and it's I'm the not, same moving. I'm not, not giving them a break at all. Nah. Whereas, though, if I'm a volleyball player and then I also do swimming, mm -hmm. swimming is such a lower impact to the point where now when I'm training for swimming and all right. that stuff, I'm yes. taking a break from those muscles yes. continuously. So nothing is getting pounded on. Exactly. I, but I'm using just as much output am I in uh, volleyball, am I in swimming, but the pounding on the joints, the landing, all of that is completely different. It's completely different. gone. Yes. And what I do is I also create this place of I actually have an off season to prepare my body to grow, to get better for the next season. Mm -hmm. Whereas though all your sports, like for one, AAU basketball is big right now because of the fact that they have these kids playing in winter circuits, spring circuits, summer circuits, and all, yeah. all year round. Yeah. We have young basketball players we can't even really put 
the muscle or to make them come back the next year and be stronger, better, jump higher, whatever the case may mm -hmm. be. Because we only have them for like four weeks before they hop back into full un blast season. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like so, our, like right now, our our um, high school basketball kids are starting high school basketball yeah. where they technically just got done their summer circuits in like July or August. Yeah. So it's one of those things of they don't. A lot of these all-year sports, they constantly are just, like, beating their body up yeah. to the point where they're not growing to become stronger, faster, or even a different basketball player. Whereas, though, let your body take a break from that sport, build it up. Yes, you can go play baseball because it's not nowhere near the impact that you have in basketball. Yeah, you can go play another sport, run track, or whatever the case may be, because the stress that you're going to get in track is different from your playing ba basketball. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, no, or football or whatever the case may be. So I'm with you. I, I, you start. It's to so funny. Prevent, it's, it's tight. Yeah, you start yeah. to prevent those overuse injuries where you're you're banging up your knees, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. So by the time you get to the tenth grade, eleventh grade, when you make your decision to lock in on one sport, your your muscles and your body is pretty much activated all the way around the board. Exactly. So where I wouldn't do a lot of ankle work playing football, right? But I need a ton of Ankle work playing basketball. Exactly. So is and now when I go back to football, I don't really have to worry about too much of flexibility and the ankle. I don't have to worry about my ankle being locked and stiff when I plant and cut because of the bounding and, and jumping and all everything I'm doing in basketball helps the football. Right. Like I said, like again, for me, uh youth all the way up to tenth or eleventh grade yeah. is when I shut all that down. Right. And start locking in on one sport. And another thing I got is you avoid burnout. Mm -hmm. So what happens is from the age of four all the way up until I was like 18, 20, I already played 16 years of football. Yeah. Good thing is I didn't burn out because of the fact of I had other sports to focus on. Mm -hmm. If you have a kid that plays football in the wintertime, leave, go play 707, now they got like summer leagues and stuff like that. Yeah. Leave and then go play football in the summer. And then by the time, all that football, by the time they start get ready to go to college and all stuff, that's so much mental strain as far as football, 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 football. Yeah. A lot of the kids start to burn out. Okay. So if you if you looking for them to like take that jump and if anything, they should get more passion when they go into college and become a specific, you know, what was the word you use? Specific athlete? Yes. Yeah. Specialized. So specialized athlete mm -hmm. into one sport, because that's usually what happens when they transition into college. You want them to have more passion for the sport, whereas mm -hmm. though if you beat them up so much by always football, 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 and they mentally don't have time to relax from it, miss it, you know what I mean? That's why I love I love football, because it makes me miss it. One, we have a long-ass offseason, and then two, we only play one time a week. So you get that itch like, ooh, it's football season. I can feel the that fall breeze start to come yeah. in. It'd be still today where I walk outside and be like, damn, it feel like a football Saturday. Yeah. You know what I mean? But now, 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 let us also say there 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 are guys that only want to do one sport. And there's nothing yeah. wrong with it's it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's that. nothing wrong with it. We just are answering the question, is it okay for my Youth athlete play multiple sports. Yeah, and like, we're just breaking it down from a science me, aspect. For me, right now, I'm just talking about the pros yeah. of of playing like multiple sports. Mm -hmm. These are the pros of it. Yeah. Uh, the next thing is you build other things within um, your athleticism that people don't talk like cognitive thinking. Mm -hmm. Yes. So like situational thinking, like your yeah. brain adapts to whatever you see. Mm -hmm. So if you're playing football, now, it responds faster. Exactly. And in a different way. Yeah. So, for example, I, I point out Patrick Mahomes, for example. Okay. Part of his greatness is that he can throw the ball on a dime mm -hmm. at any point in time. And a lot of people that that's a physical attribute. No, that's his cognitive thinking. Yes. And his creativity that comes from him playing basketball his whole life. Mm -hmm. I must say basketball, baseball his whole life to the point where now as a baseball player, you got to be able to grab that ball, turn and throw the first base on a drop of a dime. And be out of position when you do it exactly Meaning your frame you could be way leaning all it and your feet here and it and yeah. you made it throw. right exactly so it gives him because you've seen him plenty of times when he's getting rushed and all that mm -hmm. he take that arm and 
right. would do it the same way as if he was throwing a baseball to first base. Right. So no, I, I and get for it. us that's magical, but for baseball players that's every day, that's, that's, that's every game. Yeah. Catch a ball, be on your knee, throw it. Yeah. Uh, be in pick a, up a uh, ground ball boom. with the momentum yeah. of it and spin around and, and get it out of there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like accurate, got to yeah. get two first base. Not over here, not over there, yeah. but two first base. Sometimes, man, they be throwing that ball. I'm like, damn, damn. yeah, and he threw it on a button from way back there. In baseball, it's not anything magical, but you see that in football, you be like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the how you how do that? that? Because playing. that's not that's not our frame of how we play. Exactly, like, he breaks all of that. Exactly, so that's what makes him yeah. that much good. So without baseball, he wouldn't be able to do that yeah. stuff. Um, um, and then other transferable skills that you get from playing other sports, like for example, when you play an individual sport like track, uh, you a lot of time become about self. Whereas though, when you play other sports like football, mm -hmm. basketball, mm -hmm. team sports, it teaches you more so teamwork and you know communication skills, leadership, and things like that. So um, there's, there's there's a lot of pros to playing other sports. And then yeah. at the same time, there's also the bad stuff, yeah. which is you bound with it. Yeah. You can get that from playing one sport. So the exactly. bad parts. The, the bad, bad parts. part is yeah. like, what if you get injured? You're a predominantly D1 football player. Mm -hmm. LeBron James played football in high school. They didn't want him to. Mm -hmm. But he left. Like, it's, like imagine him getting injured in football. But really, bro, you was about to be the greatest basketball player yeah. of all time. But that's why I said that. You see, I, I planted that seed. Yeah, I know. I'm with you. I ain't planting no more. And so that's why, that's why I said that. <laughs> And 11th grade is when that decision need to be made of locking down on one sport. Yeah, and, and that's what LeBron did. Like, bro, you about to be in the NBA. Yeah, Calm down. You don't go out there and don't do that football shit. Don't right. But he actually was about to quit, and then he went back and played. Yeah. But, I mean, but that's where I say, like, how much time did LeBron actually put to training for football? Yeah. He wasn't out there running routes and all that type of stuff. He was just naturally gifted. He's tall. He's fast. Throw the ball up in the air. He has good ball skills because he plays basketball that he'll be able to use his body to be able to catch a jump ball in the end zone, yeah. stuff like that. So that's a that's a con. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as time, time that you have to get better at one sport, but you're so busy playing two. That's the downfall, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what I mean. So, so these are the cons of it. So the cons is like where you could be coming a better wide receiver, you're so busy out here. Playing going, basketball. Playing basketball and all that and, stuff. And in the beginning, that's where I was at. And that's why I had to pick where I said, well, the, to play one sport is the 10th or the 11th grade because of how much work you have to put in for one sport just to mm -hmm. be above everybody else. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know me, I'm always about that work that you put in all day long. It's not just when you're in the weight room. It's not just when you're with your team. It's the stuff that you do when nobody is around that counts. Right. So – going to go get you a wide receiver coach and sit there and run that right. pass tree, passing tree and I all think day long. The one thing I like about a lot of football players now is that they do that skill development. Yeah. Instead of going playing basketball, whatever the case may be. So, yeah. like I said, I've always been a fan of the one sport. I just didn't – I know – I think I, – I know how it is – I know how hard it is to be great at one sport. Yeah. And, and in my brain is – I would have to be great in the other sport too, and in the other sport, all these have to. I have to be great in them. I can't. I, me personally, I can't be great. That's why I left basketball alone. That's why I left baseball alone because football took so much attention. I couldn't play basketball. I couldn't play baseball. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And if I decided to do the baseball because I was really good at baseball, then it wouldn't have been no football. It wouldn't have been no basketball. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't have been no track. It wouldn't have been none of well, that. But you, you're an all or nothing person. Yeah. Whereas though yeah, some people, they can like literally, for example, you have a football player like uh, Tyreek Hill. But he could step on the track today or tomorrow, didn't really practice for it or whatever the That's case may be, and beat. Man, you lame me. You, 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 you name it superheroes. This is but dude, that's too fast. But I know. But so when I was doing my research, it was like, all right, so, you know, what is in the NFL? How much is actually make up? Makeup is multiple sport athletes, and like in 2017, I, I seen 30 out of 32 people that was picked in the first round. Mm -hmm. 30 of them was multiple sport athletes. And that was a good draft class. That draft class, I'll name a couple people. There you go. You got Patrick Mahomes, Miles Garrett, Christian McCaffrey, Cooper Cup, Jamal Adams, TJ Watts. These are 
dogs. These Thoroughbreds. Are, they yeah. future but you potential saying, future Hall of Famers you name. Exactly. But is that a could Tribute, does that contribute to them playing multiple sports? Nah. Or do you – but Patrick Mahomes, part of the reason why he's Patrick Mahomes is because he played baseball. But I'm sure there's a whole lot of – you can go another year. Like, you got a – Kyle Pitts never played nothing but football. We can run up and down this board right now. All right, so Kyle could have been 31 out of – the two out of the 32 that didn't play. But I'm saying, like, majority-wise. Like, I, no, I get it. I is get it what a you're good saying, thing or is it? But a bad that's thing? what I'm. That's my point. No, no, no. That's. And then you have uh, other athletes that was like the greatest of all time, like the Michael Jordans, the LeBron James, Deion Sanders, Tom Brady played baseball, Allen Iverson played football. But they wasn't really that good. That was just something to do. AI was supposed to be the, that guy. That shit was Jordan just was good to enough. Do. But good, you, Jordan, you see what I'm saying? That was technically shit. Jordan was good enough to play in the M MLB. And we saw that. I know, but he almost. <laughs> but if he if he would have spent sport more time with the sport, dig on my point. He probably could have. You're proving a However, point. However, he nah. was good enough. Deion Sanders played in one game, took a flight, flew to the other game. Yeah, you know what I mean. But Bo Jackson, that's another one. No, no hold on, you got to keep. Herschel Walker, that's another. I can you name got, him. You got to keep Bo out of that. Bo was a different See, animal. When I when I bring up the like, it, yeah. but is no, I get it, what you say. Is it because of the multiple sports nah. that made him a different athlete? No, nah, no. Nah. I think I think it's the competitiveness of an athlete, the hard training, but and all right, the natural think god about ability. Bo Jackson's power that he gained from football, how that translated over into baseball. We always think about how do things translate over into their main sport. But think about how he was able to run and jump and climb the wall and catch that joint on the back fence. Athleticism. But the, he got that from football. No, I think it just was a little dirty ass kid Bro, playing on sports. Because I'm, 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 <laughs> I think about when I was a kid, I just was athletic. Yeah, but and it's I was attracted to everything that was sports. But you realize a lot of these names that I said back in the back in the day, there's something to that, and we talk about this all the time. There's something to that raw, gritty, concrete training that we got as playing as kids. There's something to that. I just think because. One of the best things you can do with a kid is have them jump to build explosions. So yeah. as kids, we at the playground jumping and doing all this shit for no reason, jumping off the monkey bars, landing, jumping back up. But that oh, was like, even before. You can't touch that. I can touch that. Duh, 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 duh. Jump up, touch the backboard. I think you're proving my point. That was before you even played multiple sports. That's when I was playing multiple sports. You as did a, that. You was no, dirty bro. before that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you was dirty before. No, that. but you, you because watch this. If you I never started playing had, football when I was four, that's fine. If you didn't, have I started playing that, basketball when I was five. If you didn't have that gritty attitude, if you didn't wanting to be the best athlete you could be, it didn't matter what sport I know, you played. I ain't know about that at four or five years. You didn't old. need to because it was in you. You was attracted to it. Like how many four or five year old kids go out there and play football? And realize, oh, no, I want to play this. Yeah, he's got his head <laughs> rocked. You know, get this shit off me. And now you see him picking up a basketball. Yeah. It was a different breed. Like, I, I get, think those guys are different I, breeds. I get that, but I'm saying there's something to you the old so? school way of training where it's not as science-based, just going out. That's why I said a lot of kids miss that nowadays. No, they definitely do. They don't go outside and just play. No. Just go and play. Right. There's something but, to that. But you don't need it. I A lot of freak athletes had it. They had it, a lot but of, they didn't need it because they needed it. To no, me, they because they it. have us. They have trainers to give that to them. Yeah, if you have a good trainer at six yeah. years old, but if you have your dad training you in a garage, you don't got good training. It'll change it. It'll change. Hopefully. Hey, hey Diaz, I know I'm great. Can I get that Pepsi? Oh, the, should I have said that? Yeah. No. He, we got to blink that out? They, <laughs> they, <laughs> Can I get that? <laughs> no. He's he going to blur my Pepsi out? Yeah. Hey, Pepsi, Michael Jackson did it, so did I. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so uh no, we gotta um I think I, I think it's either or. I, I really think it depends on the kid, right? Yeah. So you can have a kid that's just like uh motor motor skills need to be worked on. Yeah. Have them play as many sports as possible. Like right now with my young boy Jackson, he uh he's five right now. Mm -hmm. Right now, all the thing I'm focusing on, bro, play as many sports as you can. Yeah. He's five. Yeah. yeah. Play as many sports as you can. 
But now, the only me, thing I'm thinking about is building his motor control and his athletic ability, yes. his hand eye coordination. Right now, I got him in soccer for his feet. He just got done playing baseball. Mm-hmm. After baseball, I mean, not baseball. He just got done playing football. After football, he's playing soccer. After soccer, you're going to play baseball. After yeah. baseball, you're going to run track. You know what I mean? And when you cut all that off. When do I? For me, it's whenever he chooses to cut it off. It's For me, I did my job. I put you in everything that you wanted to. Yeah. But now, if also, you want to be a football player, bro, I'm going to teach you how to be a football player. Yeah. And that... I agree with you. That shit happened around like 10th, 11th grade. Yes, but, that's all I'm saying. But I would say, I would still let, if it, for example, if his sports was football Thank and track, I would let him run track. <laughs> he gave me a butt naked <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and I'm saying, trying to figure out like, what is he doing? Like, you see the walk over? Yeah, they didn't he didn't give me a butt naked bottle. Yeah. This look ass right now, yo. <laughs> look like you got something in that, bro. Yeah. A little rum. Yeah. Yeah. This is the joint you stick in the club. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, snap. So yeah. That was dope. Good but yeah. thinking. Good but thinking. Yeah. For him, um, play as many sports. I would say for him, I would still let him participate in sports. Yeah. So, for example, if he played football and best, I mean, football and he ran track, for example, in my my experience, if he ran football and ran track, I would only allow him to run certain races. Yes, because you know, you know what you're doing. Right. So yeah. now it's like, all right, he not running the 400, he not running the 800. Yeah, I don't care that. about. It. That's like Usain Bolt training for the 400. It's yeah. going to mess up his 100 meter run. Mm-hmm. So for that, like, all 100, maybe the 200. Yeah. No, I, I get it. I get it. I, I get all that. I just maybe the long jump. I think I'm kind of 50 50. It don't. It, I'm 50 50. If for you me, if you have a kid that can absolutely do that, by all means, do it. Yeah. Just look for. Uh, 10th, 11th grade, start narrowing down because what do you, now... What do you want to play? Yeah, what position we, do you want to What you love to do? What events do you really want to yeah. run? All of, yeah. Yeah, and if we... Because for me, um, if we're going to do this, like I said, youth is virtually impossible to kind of make him lock in one sport. I get yeah. all that. Because motor control starts... Sorry to cut you off, yeah. but motor control starts to build at the age... Well, technically birth, but... The age of four, yes. when they start being able to skip, run, and all that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. From birth up there, they just learning basic balance and all that type yeah. of stuff. So it's one of those things where if you have a kid where his motor control is out of whack and all that stuff, just put him in anything. Yeah, and let him build up the con, the you know, cognitive thinking. Mm-hmm. Get his brain to connect to his body, like how we do when we train our young athletes. We don't do anything super nah. special with them. Nah. Um, Narrow it down. Yeah. They, teach them how to walk that line. That's yeah, it. exactly. Like teach them how to lunge. Teach well, them what their body feels like. Give them basic agility give drills. Give them that thought process of learning how to move fast. The thought process going from here to the feet. Exactly. I want you to go take this ring, go in and out. I want that brain to turn on. Get them the motor patterns. Get that energy skill, uh, energy level. All of that, the, the nervous system firing right. up, just to get them to think about doing those type of movements. And I, I want to say this to the parents: if you have a trainer that's doing all these different drills with their with the athlete, with a young athlete, four or five, you see them like doing shit wrong, jumping yeah. over hurdles, doing all this agility shit just for Instagram. Yeah, take them out of there. Take them out of there because honestly, at the end of the day, you're gonna one. If he does get good at those drills, eventually that athlete is going to plateau because where do you go from there? Yeah. Right? Right now, at that point in time, you're just trying to teach them how to move their body efficiently. A basic foundation. How to move efficiently. That's it. That's it. The right way. The right way. If I build this now at the age of five, six, seven, eight, all the way up to the point where your body really starts to put on muscle and yeah. puberty start to hit, boy, by the time you get into high school, all your results are going to come super fast once yeah. I start really being able to pile some and, weight on you. And, and all what I always say, you don't want him to tap out early. No. If he hit his his peak too early, he in trouble. Yeah, like the quarterback, sixth grade, where he went to another trainer and had he him, had him squatting 225. 225. Yeah, that's, that's great for social media, but what is that <laughs> doing for his actual – he's a quarterback. <laughs> he's a quarterback. Yo, they – What the fuck? <laughs> If you don't get that shit, we don't, our grown men ain't doing that shit. Yeah, like, like no. You don't, you don't, don't need, need that. that. Yeah. yeah, like, if if he gets to the point where we're in high school and college, he can handle that, yeah. great. But honestly, at the end of the day, he's a quarterback, like, man. Protect his body. Teach young. him how to do too things young. efficiently, move yeah. efficiently, and go from there. And that's, like I loved that's to for see, the parents. I rather I would have rather see him at 135 moving that thing. Super fast. How fast he can move 135 right. under control. Uh, uh, 
That's what I want. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he gonna oh, be. Yeah. He's yeah. nice. He explosive. By the time his he fast switch when he get when he get eighth grade, we'll start yeah. testing him, putting some weight on him, trying yeah. to build actual strength. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah. And then two twenty five. He dropped down and the back started wibbling. Oh, oh my god. god. He's yeah. gonna kill this kid. Exactly. You know what I mean? So no, I get it. Like I said, I'm all for it. I'm I'm for both ways. Um, because I know who I am. I love to lock in and go. I everything I do, football, eat, sleep, shit. Wake up. Yeah, you all in. Yeah, I'm all in. I can't. I got to master this. I got to be great at it. Right. And then, all right, cool. Right. But before you get there, then I understand playing different sports that have turned different muscles on. More than, I think for me, it's not even about the body for me. It's more of the mind. See, for Adapting. me, I think about the body. I think about the mind because it adapts. It allows you to be able to adapt to any situation that you, any type of movement get thrown your way, your body can respond. I think that's the word I was looking right. for. Your body knows how to respond in any type of situation. Right. So I'm more for them playing, doing wrestling. Mentally, I got to get out of this hole. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm for, you know, baseball, the way my body mm -hmm. got to be out of mm -hmm. position, but in control. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm more of the mental part of allowing each kid to play multiple sports because it allows them to put the puzzle to the, the puzzle together when they get to their main one. Right. That's why I like it. Right. No. I I think I think we agree in yeah. that in that sense. Ooh, but we me, done did 10 podcast shows and this is the first time we have agreed. Yeah, but for a while you didn't agree with that. No, topic. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't until I started getting into it. We go back and forth it. all the time yeah. and I was just like, "No, nah, I no, it's you, you, it's you was partially to it. right. It's I always think it. about I always think about old school training, right? Yeah. And we always like debunk a lot of the myths and be like, that shit don't work, that shit don't work, da, da, da. But it's something to that. I raw, think it's the mental. No, bro. It's something to the, the what it does to the body. Being able to jump up off of concrete and land on concrete, mm -hmm. how you like produce power, like absorb power. How running that recess, we running uphill for me and my elementary school. Every day we get out and race all the mm -hmm. way uphill until we hit this wall and you got to be the fastest kid in class. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was uphill. It's something to that natural, generic run where I'm just running fast for no reason. Just to be the fastest kid I mean, kid we can class. do that. Kids don't do that nowadays. Popo, -po, he stole something. <laughs> Oh, shit. You see how fast he hopped over that car? Right. <laughs> Yo, I was watching one joint on Instagram. When I tell you this was hilarious, the cops was chasing him in the car. And the, and the caption said, uh, everybody should have a homie like that. So I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? I had to watch it twice. The, he was on a payment drive, and the cops is behind him. He's going slow. The cops is behind him in the street. They stopped the bus, got cops everywhere. So he's riding on the pavement, and they follow him right here. He get next to the house and jumps out the car and runs up the steps and go into the apartment complex. And now they looking around, got the whole complex. Right. But if you if you rewind it, his homie opened the door for him. Oh. So when he got out the car and ran up the steps, the bull opened the door for him. And when he uh, ran in, he just let it go and walked down there. The cops ain't even messed with him. And they was like, <laughs> everybody need a homie like that. Right. So that was dope. <laughs> Not that we talking about anybody being a criminal, <laughs> but, you know. Whatever. Gotta cover your ass. Yeah. So um Yeah, that's that, that's, me, that's that's about that's it. I hope much. I hope we helped everybody. Do you wanna go further? No, that's that's pretty much it. I think yeah. that that conversation of benefits, not benefits, things like that, they so wishy washy to yeah. me. Cause yeah, you can get injured walking outside. Yeah. And get, you get know, injured walking yeah. your doggy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, that's, I don't I try not to think about injuries because you just can't control that. Yeah, it's that's, I don't even think about it because if I think about it, I'm gonna get hurt. Yeah. And I never ran the ball and was like, man. I hope I don't get hurt. Hope I don't twist my ankle. I had when I broke my arm in Lily, it's because I was going half ass. Yeah. Scared. No, yeah. I wasn't scared. It was like we was we was scrimmaging the the, the I should probably say this because you're gonna talk shit. <laughs> he was scared, y'all. We, we, we was scrimmaging the uh younger team. So I was just going casually through the hole and shit like that. And the young boy came and hit my wrist because I didn't get my stiff arm up fast enough. And that shit broke. <laughs> And I was like, so Look. apparently, if you play multiple sports, your motor pattern is not moving as fast as you would like. Yeah, no, that shit. <laughs> okay. That shit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, we hope that we helped y'all with the question of is it okay or more or less should they play multiple sports as as a youth athlete? I hope we helped y'all cover everything. And now, <laughs> fuck all that. We going into. <laughs> <the> <laughs>
top of the show. We are going into the pod oh, where we boy. pick a topic and we talk about it. And today, me and G have been arguing all week all about week. this. Let me get my notes again. Matter of fact, we are talking about coming to the show, setting up for the show, even had our whole team arguing about this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't train professional athletes. And we have fitness people in here, and they was in yeah. an argument. Yeah, so uh So well, shout out to Shaka and, and Cool Boy Steph yeah. coming through. Um he don't like his clients. He don't even know their fucking names, but what? that's cool. I know their names. What's I just name? give them all nicknames. Ooh. I had Mac. I had Ari in here. He don't know. I had Earl in here. He don't know them people. Uh, anyway. <laughs> they don't even uh, like anyway, anyway. Here we go. Here we go. So pod. The pod is where we pick a topic and we talk about it. And today we're going to talk about who's, goat. who's the GOAT. Who's the GOAT. Who's the GOAT in basketball. Who's the GOAT. So, Michael Jordan. So I'm, I'm a I'm, disclaimer. Listen. I'm going to say this before we get into this shit. My man gave me LeBron James. First of all, I did not give him LeBron okay. James. Oh, he got to stop. Look, gotta personally, stop. in my heart, Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Done. We ain't got to cut the camera. No, I, I got to say that. But, <laughs> I, the fucking but, camera. but done. I can understand the argument of Jordan. I mean, LeBron James being a GOAT. I can. He's a GOAT, but not the GOAT. It's only, it, I don't like that a GOAT. The, the, it's... You either the greatest of all time, that's what GOAT means. Okay. Not the greatest of this era, not the greatest of Oh, this. then this a done deal. Then. Yeah, it's Thank greatest you. of all time. Oh, now that you worded it that, that way, I agree with, with Michael you. Jordan, Jordan, I grew up goat. watching, idolizing uh -huh. Michael Jordan. Okay. I was still a young boy sticking my tongue out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right across Let my me, brother over and stuff. One of my notes go Yeah, ahead. I'm, I'm go ahead. A, but at the end of the day, <laughs> mm -hmm. LeBron James has put together a resume. That is hard to say that if he's not now, he will be the greatest of all time. And these young bulls are going to forget about Michael Jordan. I don't think no one will ever forget if you about ask Michael Jordan. A lot of these young bulls that's coming into the league, they don't even respect Michael Jordan as much. Nah, anymore. that's a lie. Bro, I, I got to show hey, me something on who, that. Who was the, uh, who's the young bull that, uh, Diaz, real quick, who was the uh, young bull that the uh, Charlotte Hornets just drafted? Hold on. And he was like, uh, and you're going to say he should shoot himself, but he uh, literally said Paul George was his GOAT. Both of them is dumb as shit. Brandon Miller. Yep. 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 He said Paul George was his GOAT. He even, he played for the Charter Hornets. So you Come know. The singer. Paul George. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, like real shit. So these young bulls, they not even respect it. He, oh, he shit, playing for the funny. organization that Michael Jordan part on. And you got your number one draft picks pretty much saying like, bro, you're not my GOAT. All right. So these young bulls are going to, huh? I know he don't, but I'm saying like he's still affiliated with some of them. He, the bull Brandon Miller even went in and was like, yeah, I met Michael Jordan, but it ain't really do nothing for me. Because these young bulls is ignorant. <laughs> Just no, say let's just say I'm that. saying These that. These young boys that, is ignorant that, as hell. See, for us, we look at Jordan as black Jesus. He is. <laughs> what you want me to do? He walk on air. You know, white Jesus walked on water. Black yeah. Jesus walking on air. And he has done that <laughs> repeatedly over and over and yeah, over so, again. So the whole argument of who's the GOAT, let's let's get into let's it. Come. I'm going to let you go. No, go no, no, no. I'm you go. I said my <laughs> piece. Okay. Go ahead. I mm -hmm. mean... I, I can state the I'll state the obvious six for six. What okay. are we talking about? He went ten and got four. Right. Yeah, keep going. That's all you got. That's all I need right now. No, it's not. He's so stink. all right. So the whole thing with LeBron James going four for ten is a lot of those finals. His teammates ain't show up. That's a lot, bro. Wow, I just bro. read the stats to no, you early. No, I just read the no, stats to you early. No. Him right. and Kyrie both score 41 points apiece. That's that's the one. He won that year. First of all. Second of all. I'm waiting. First finals he went to with the Spurs. Got swept. Jordan He didn't. had. Jordan got swept in the playoff, bro. Stop. He, everybody. No, 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 you oh. did not say for you. Yo, said, I, I knew you was gonna do this. As soon as I started did, trying to prove the point, you want to cut me off. No, because the, you the said first finals. 2007 when LeBron James went to the, the finals. finals Jordan got swept 
in the playoffs. Exactly, because he ain't he had nobody. Things. He couldn't. Even, he wasn't. He wasn't good enough to get to the finals. No, 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 point. no, no, no. Look at his average. By himself. Look at he his had, average. He was good enough. Oh my he just, god. He just had no help. Bro. Yeah, he good at scoring. Okay. He's great at scoring. Look, I'm glad you said that. Michael Jordan is a great scorer. I'm gonna say it? that. No, that's he's, not. That's he's it. great at defense. He's great at. Being the guy to take the last shot. But at the end of the day. Well, what the fuck else you need is a basketball player. <laughs> you need to be able to rebound. You need to be able to assist. Basketball. Is he, a, he don't do those things? Not as great as LeBron James. And that's why he got four rings. No, it's because of the fact that when he went 2007 mm -hmm. to the Spurs, mm -hmm. I mean, against the Spurs, mm -hmm. he played Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, Mano Julian, probably one of the greatest organizations ever. He got swept. His Even his second best player. Was out that series. Bro, you got to stop acting like Jordan had a fantastic team, No, bro. Team, so yo. You, you, this whole LeBron had help concept. He, bro, he played no, with 19 all-star players. I get that. He, but I that don't, don't mean that, that when the game was on the line or our back, we in the finals or whatever the case may be, that they had his back. So in that series... In that series, LeBron averaged 22, like, eight assists, et cetera, et cetera. Young LeBron. After that, he realized he wasn't going to win. He went to Miami, right? Jordan didn't First go year, anywhere. Jordan didn't go when anywhere. When he lost, you because just told he already he had Because he already had a team, what team forming. By the time Jordan started to win... And he won his first title. Can't believe Scotty shit, Pippen yo. already been there for two or three years. Bro, you keep saying Scotty like Scotty is this fucking. Oh my god, he's top fifty player, bro. You get, in that time and he's period, probably forty. Scotty Pippen averaged twenty points a game. Oh shit, that's not good. The no, best, the no, best guard, not, not the best guards in the league average so, twenty points right, a let game. Me, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. The nineteen All Star players that fucking LeBron played with, how many of them is averaging twenty? They all over twenty. In that time period, oh my God, Scottie Pippen was averaging 15 to 20 points a game, and he was doing all the rebounds and all the assists and all that. He type was of stuff. not doing all the rebounds. Yes, he bro. was. You got to stop playing defense and all that type of stuff. You got to stop. You, you keep doing. Stop, you look. You. This is what you do. You gotta stop. This is what y'all be doing. You gotta stop. See, I get mad when y'all do this. Y'all big up. All the people that LeBron no, played with. No, we going off of facts. Yeah, facts that they were all stars in today's game. But, Who's an all star? Uh huh. Who's the, you, all the people LeBron played with? The yes. Kevin Loves. What did LeBron Love do in the finals? Don't say fucking Kevin Love out of all these All Star plays. He no, gonna say I'm Kevin saying, Love. But that's, so we these forgot are the people about y'all adding a part in the nineteen. No, 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 the no, Kevin no, Loves. No. The, we, oh, what about oh the Kyrie's? You what about the Juan? Shaquille O'Neal into this mix. He fucking played with him. Yeah, when Shaq was old as fuck. And what was Shaq? Old? What was he? He was three hundred pounds averaging? hobbling up and down the what court. What was he averaging at three hundred pounds? It's, Sha it's Shaq, bro. It was over twenty points. It had to be. He was six. I mean, seven foot, three hundred okay. pounds, just throwing in a post boom. That's my point. But it was Everybody, not Kobe Shaq. He had, he had. It wasn't Kobe he Shaq. He had point. He had no, guys bro, that was putting points. Stop. Even Shaq said he wasn't a hundred percent. So, when he how many, with so you telling me Dwayne Wade only averaged twenty points? You telling me Kyrie only averaged in the finals 20 that, points? In the finals you're telling that, me Chris Bosh only averaged twenty points? I can keep going. He played with fucking nineteen All Star players. No, see. Chris Bosh didn't average twenty points when he was oh, with the he Heat. Oh, he got the shitload of rebounds. And then on. Come on, bro. You got, you, you got to stop. Bro, those like was Jordan the, then had Dennis Rodman, arguably the bro, that best. That was the second half of the season. So what? That's still three chips. Okay. Okay. Y'all, we keep like, going. Yeah, but what I'm saying People is. People named B.J. Armstrong. He was a killer. No, I didn't say that. See, now you put, you put shit in bro, my mouth. you said I he said was B.J. Armstrong ball player. I meant to say Ron Harper. Ron Harper was the same shit. He was a, he he was was a role player. Ranked as, he was ranked as the 14th best guard. In the '90s decade, what was his point average? I guess you. My and, point and is that yes, to fucking. That is my point with Scotty. You gotta Pippen. have Jordan scoring thirty and forty in yes, order to Jordan, win. Yes, just like you need LeBron James to score 30, 40, and get. And he still don't do and it. get eleven. Yes, he, he does. He did it four times. All right, I'm gonna run down his. He did it four times. Nope, nope. He did it four times out of ten. Let me let me prove my point. Go ahead, All right, prove your point. So the goat debate. LeBron got four MVPs. Four finals MVP, 19 all-star appearances, 19 all-NBA, six all-defense, runner-up for a defensive player of the year twice. So all the people that says, like, LeBron don't play defense, he got almost got that award twice, all right? Almost. Almost, yeah, almost. Jordan got but it. But that don't mean that he don't play defense. He still plays defense. He playing no fucking All right, defense. here we go. And then now, that whole thing about LeBron in the finals and stuff like that, you going to call it excuses. I say these are legit reasons of why we might have lost. 
What? The only one that I excuse, <laughs> the only one I excuse, he should have won a one when they went against dirt. I got no excuse for Bro, that. But how many listen, games you, in the you fourth quarter? He get four points. All right. So then, look, when he went, when he played the Spurs, he went with Larry Hughes. He got hurt in that series. There's no way you beating Tim Duncan, Mano Ginobili. I don't care who you. You could be Jesus himself. Jordan did it. Jordan not doing that. Jordan, he, he could not beat anybody without Scottie Pippen. J he didn't. He didn't. Okay. Exactly. And then on top of that, the next time they went, they played the Dunder, young KD, young Russell Westbrook, three MV future MVPs. So they had talent. They beat them. Boom. Then next year, they went, played the Spurs. No, they played Dallas, I think it was. They played Dallas, lost Dallas. Oh, no, they lost to Dallas first, right? Then they played Thunder, bam, won that one. In that series... LeBron averaged 28, 10, and 7 in the Thunder series. That's great numbers. But it's not really LeBron numbers, right? So then now when he, when he went in 2013 and he played the Spurs for the first time, that series where everybody say, oh, Ray Allen saved him. He did. He did not, bro. It's the and same then, as you telling me that bro. B.J. Armstrong and Paxson no, saved Jordan I'm to win the game. Look, I'm evening, up, I'm evening up this conversation right now, and this is why I argue that, is because y'all be making it seem like Michael Jordan did this shit all he by his damn near fucking did. self. He did Yo, not. Yo, those all shots Michael didn't Jordan matter. Did, Listen, all he did was score a lot of points. That's not true. All If Jordan don't win, if Jordan don't make all those points, if he don't score like that, those fucking winning, don't, they don't have a chance to make a winning shot. And if LeBron James don't score, rebound, and assist, they don't have a winning shot. That's not true. In game he six. Play, in that game six, when they bro. played the Spurs. Okay, my turn. LeBron, you want to read the stats? Let me read mine's now. Oh, see, he's he doing got, that thing again. Go in ahead. that game six, go ahead. LeBron James made the closing shot. So it was, 90, it was 89 to like 95, I think it was. Yep, 85-95. LeBron James made the three-pointer that made it 92 to 95 with clutch left and then on the last shot he bricked it but then that's when Ray Allen made his mm -hmm. he always bricking something how he ain't bricked the shot LeBron, before that LeBron to, to James get, had, to, to, to put them in a game LeBron James had 11 points three like three or four assists yeah. all in the fourth quarter nobody else was doing anything okay. if he don't take over that game in that game they don't have a shot so, to win so why the is same it? argument y'all have with him shooting i mean with steve but kerr he's not consistent how is he not consistent because he went 10 times no no he went 10 no. times you're, you're talking about clutch finish shots. my arguments you're talking about clutch shots i am talking about clutch out of his shots. fucking career this dude only have 19 clutch shots jordan got 147 clutch shots Where, where's that set at 147 clutch shots. That no, you, you 90, got, I got to read. 90, no, 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 19 bro. That, clutch that, shots. That bro. was a Witchman call. That, that was, was a what? That was a quote or some it shit. It wasn't like that no in quote. my career that Michael Jordan. No, uh, no, bro, those are facts. No. I just blew it up. I didn't feel like doing this shit right here. No, I just took a picture real All right, quick. Go ahead, show me. Read it. Read it. No, I don't have to. Oh, see, Michael the, the Jordan audience don't. made 147 this is what shots. Steve Harvey said. <laughs> Fuck Steve. This is <laughs> I seen that. I'm like, bro, that this is yeah. not Steve Harvey. This is from the facts. This is Google. I just blew it up and took bro, a picture of it. That's, that's not a, Steve that's Harvey. A quote, bro. That's not a quote. Bro, he has a commercial saying, in my career, I shot 147 times. They only remember the ones you make. This is not that, bro. This is a stat. This is the same thing what right saying? here. Read it. I don't have to. I just See, told you I took a fucking that's crazy, 147 that's crazy. That's crazy. clutch that's shots. Crazy. Okay. That's crazy. I'm going to do you one anyway, better. The next, I'm going to look it up. The next game I'm going to pull had, it up where I got it. The next game, game seven, closeout game, LeBron James in that same series had 37 points, 12 rebounds. Closeout game. All right. That don't, that's not clutch? No. Game seven. No. It's not clutch. Because I can tell you clutch? clutch when you have food poisoning and you're the only motherfucker on your team scoring. You score 55 points in the finals. I that's get that. clutch. And the man that you're talking about is supposed to be so great only had fucking nine points. And there's nothing wrong with you. There's Bro, nothing wrong. You're not sick. You ain't had, got shit on yourself. You ain't got to go to the bathroom. You don't have diarrhea. There's nothing wrong with you. You the man. I'm you're telling remember. me, Scotty. I didn't do research on the game. I did. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Is I this did. the game he had back spasms? No, this is like the that? game where they thought he had the flu, but it was food poisoning. No, not LeBron. I mean, no, I'm not Jordan. Jordan. Jordan had food poisoning. No, no, not that. But no. didn't Scotty yes, have like back spasms? Yes, That's not the game. That's not the game. Okay. That's not the game. All right, keep going. 
What you? What else you gotta say? Oh, 92. and ninety two. Fucking Jordan had six three pointers in the finals game. Six three pointers against Clyde Drexel. Yeah, I know well, that. Why is he talking like Clyde Drexel weak? He he's not. He's a twenty four point game person. Yeah. Bro, Clyde was the man. Why 24, you point, 24 why, points a game. But why is you saying that points like game. Clyde wasn't no, the man? No, I'm, I'm giving you facts. You want facts? That is facts. What I'm saying is LeBron James played against better competition than Jordan did back in the day. Back in the day, teams usually had two all-stars in order to play against, correct? Clyde Dresser and who else was on that team? I bet you can't name them. I could look it up. What the fuck? God, the next why would best I remember player, that? The next best player was scoring 15 points a game. No, he wasn't. They was bumped. Go ahead, bro. Pointing was bombing people. Bro, they was bombing people I, I when they have, had Clyde. I have it. Look it up. I did already. Show me. Oh my God! Now I gotta go back. You to just the, told me to show bro, you. Bro, you could put. It. Nah, bro. Hey, producers, nah, go bro. back to what series was that? Ninety-eight. Jordan had forty-five points. Yeah, he had great games. He's a great scorer. He's, He's a, a great, great scorer. I'm glad you the, said that. The overall point of basketball is to score, to assist, and to rebound. Right. LeBron James had a finals where he led You're right. both teams in every single category. You're right. You're right. You know it's niggas in the league just to rebound? NBA finals appearances. LeBron, 10. Michael Jordan, 6. Championships. LeBron, 4. We are Michael got, Jordan, 6. We already got that. Regular season MVPs. LeBron, 4. Michael Jordan, 5. Defensive player of the year. LeBron, none. Michael Jordan, one. Finals MVP. Michael Jordan, well, LeBron, four. Michael Jordan, six. Rookie of the year, they both we got one. We already, we already know all scoring this. Scoring titles. LeBron got like what? Four? One. One? And one. Jordan he's got not, ten. He's not, he's not a scorer, but he is a scorer. Still leaders. LeBron, none. Michael Jordan, three. Jeff Hornacek was his, who he was going against. Oh, my God, bro. You got to stop. How that got to do with the rest of the NBA? It got he's, a lot to do so with he the did, So he got that all that got... shit off of one player. No, no. I'm just giving this context to say crazy. this is what bro, I'm saying with LeBron. Bro, his, his I'm saying this, crazy. No, I'm not crazy. When you go back, the average guard in the NBA. No, he that, wasn't stealing from guards. No. Uh, the average guard at the NBA at that point in time was 6'3", 6'4". Like, audience, if you peep my, my opponent over here, every time I try to make a point, he going to holler, he going to scream. Because he be saying he shit say that these don't make blank, sense. He's trying ass. to make people no, believe. No, I'm trying to give y'all, I'm trying to give y'all, I'm trying to give y'all legit scoring facts to Yo. debunk this whole LeBron James is not clutch. LeBron James has seven playoff game winners. Jordan has nine. That's not like somebody saying, oh, he's not clutch. The only people that has more than LeBron James is Kobe and Jordan, bro. who are predominantly some of the best scorers of all bro. time. Bro, here's, here's the problem. No, it's not. It's no problem. There would be no problem of saying that LeBron was better. How many times have you watched the game when LeBron choked in the finals? How many times did they say, oh, my God, we can't believe the greatest man in the NBA only scored four points when his fucking team need him in the finals? Right. But in the finals. I've also seen. How many times can we say that with Jordan? Uh, you can't you say that can't. with Jordan. My right. point. You're right. Because the people he was playing against was who was the bull from Utah? They did the crossover. Bull was ass, bro. I'm glad you said that. So here we go. We're talking about NBA. Today, I will give you that. NBA shoot way better. They shoot. The, the whole NBA skill shoot set is better. Shoot better. Back then, they taller, NBA they're faster, they more athletic. Back then, NBA had better defense because they, they were had more the, physical. They back then they oh, hand shit, checked. Now, if you don't say that's a big deal, you never play basketball. No, I understand that is a big deal. They it had is a the hand big check. Deal. You if can't you do away, all that other bullshit. All that dribbling between your right. legs and spinning right. around. You have to be hand more. Check, that you shit have gets to be more down. physical. So if you yes. take a more physical specimen like LeBron James, okay. Anyway. Exactly. You got your NBA. If Karl Malone could get off back then, LeBron James would torch the league. No, he's a bitch. You fucking what are you crazy. talking about? He fucking cried. You're fucking crazy, no, bro, bro. He cried if he gets Yo, slapped you're through his wrist. crazy. You're trying to tell me a person that no. is Karl no. Malone size, no. more no. athletic than him, no. shoot better than bro, him. no, no. Faster than no. him, jump higher than him. No, he's a dog. And he can handle the ball. LeBron is not a dog, bro. bro. He can run a pick roll and be the person to do the bro, pick and LeBron's, roll. Whatever. He cried if you smack his wrist. See, that, that is in today's game because he has to force for fouls. <sighs> I understand the whole flopping thing. I, I get that. And back in the day, there was dogs. There was and they no wasn't, flopping they back wasn't, in the day. They wasn't calling it. I understand all back that. Back in the day, but they averaged two and a half blocks. 
Well, I'm sorry. Right now, they two average two and a half blocks. Back in the day, they averaged five. Yeah, you had Alonzo Morton, Patrick Union, David Robinson, Shaq, Hakeem Olajuwon. If, if Jordan you had fucking Matumbo, no, if, no, 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 no. If, Come on, man. If Jordan was dunking on, on these man. niggas, you don't think LeBron couldn't? No, he you saw crazy, he bro. When LeBron came down. into the league, he was jump dunking on people. You talking Yo. about old LeBron right now? Yo, LeBron barely dunk on anybody now. You know why LeBron stopped dunking like that, like crazy? It's because he had a bad back. Yeah. You gotta say something. No, yeah. I'm serious. See, you like people something. like the producer go and keep laughing because he a LeBron hater. But at the end of the day, <laughs> he he's a mad. fat. Tell him why you mad, son. <laughs> it's not. So no. listen, here you go. When he was at the heat, that's when he started converting and doing layups and shit like that. For what though? What he's you mean? not he's not a stylish dunker. But that's what we were trying you to explain. You know who a stylish you? dunker? Michael Vince Jordan. Carter. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is a stylish dunker. That's where it comes from. Because nobody at that time sees that level of but athleticism. That's why we see So saying, when you see him jump from the foul line, you're like, holy shit. That's but then why now we in the saying, league, you got somebody like Zach Levine that could do a windmill from the foul line. But that's what we're trying to say. If that's, Zach Levine played now, like what Listen, are you talking about? Mm. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I'm getting mad. I keep fucking my mic up. Good. <laughs> Mutey. Look, look, look. No, because... Look, cause, this, is, this is what I'm saying. I, I really I really wasn't... When I say that... They're more athletic now. Yeah, they're definitely more athletic. They're more athletic now. Yeah. Here, here's what I'm saying. I really wasn't talking about LeBron or Jordan being the GOAT far as points. I never was saying But that. you have to because no, LeBron... I don't, you no, take away I'm, LeBron's... No. He's the you gonna let me finish? time scoring gonna, leader. I guess so. You got six years old Jordan. The fucking three years you that he played in college... You can't take that away years from years him. You can't. How? Jordan averaged 30... At, Jordan added averaged 30 points a game. <laughs> yeah. Jordan averaged 30 points a game. LeBron averaged 27. That means this all-time amazing score that y'all put him so much more in front of okay, LeBron so stop right only there. averaged three more points. Now watch this. Three. Now watch this. Three. That's not LeBron's fault. Now watch this. That's hold not on. LeBron's hold on, hold on, fault. Hold on, hold on. With his years, it's not LeBron's fault. Now listen, he just did. He just caught up. He just what? did it a couple years ago. Passed him. Then if no. you give Jordan those six years back, he's still chasing the shit. And he barely still, did it. He's still, you're still chasing him. But if you go, you you still chasing him. If you go, him. Point, if you give him the three you years go for point, college point, and the three years that he retired, but take if, his average. If you if you going what if this whole sip? Yeah. Yes. Uh, of course, because he went to more playoffs and. LeBron's, I mean, in finals and everything else. He played more games. Of course he's going to play more minutes. And when Jordan first started going into the league, it wasn't even best out of seven. It was best out of five when he first started. So, and he should have the title. You, you only see, see again. Did y'all miss the facts that I just said? It was best out of five, so you're missing out on two whole games. That's 40 something minutes when Jordan first was in the league. So the flip and side of that is LeBron, hold on, hold on, hold Jordan, where Jordan okay, was getting eliminated. When Jordan was getting yes. eliminated in first round, LeBron was carrying teams that had no business being in the playoffs. Stop playing, bro. Stop, stop. So Jordan did that shit at the end of his career. We're not going to do that. When? We went to the fucking Wizards. When? Wizards had no. He no didn't go shot to the playoffs. playoffs. What? They didn't go to the playoffs. They anyway. Did. Anyway, here, I'm going to say this. Again, go ahead, I wasn't Don, do even... The, research. the Wizards ain't go to the playoffs? Again, I wasn't really talking you have about, to talk about points. points. No, I don't. I'm, talking I'm about getting points. ready to tell you. I never had a problem with LeBron game. LeBron game is LeBron game. The reason why I was saying that he was the GOAT, because Jordan came and literally changed the way you play basketball. LeBron played basketball because of Jordan. Everybody of when our generation does. So how can you put this man over him? Banana. Nobody is playing Wait, great and, because of LeBron. No, yes, it's all are, because bro. of Jordan. Look at, look at the league. Everybody's six, seven handle the ball. Yeah, bro, like that's because yes. LeBron James. No, that's because the game changed. The no, game it's changed. Me, it to changed all because big men have to step out. And no, shoot it's three changed pointers. because you see a kid sees this other guy that's six, seven, six, eight. Handling the ball, going coast to coast. So let me ask you a question. And then now you have those let me ask working on their handle, working let on their Let me ask you a question. What? When you watch LeBron Jordan play basketball, I mean, when you watch LeBron James play basketball. You're talking about the eye test? And No, I'm not talking about no eye test. I'm Go talking ahead. about pure emotion. When you watch the two play basketball, who are you more excited to watch? For me, Jordan. Jordan is going to go up the court, underneath the court. He's going to turn around fade. 
And while you come down, he's still hanging in the air. How many times where we get the term hang time from? Mm. How many kids wanted to fucking lick their tongue out That's, and think they was Jordan? But my, How many people, mm. where you get your sneakers? How did LeBron get his sneaker deal? Jordan. <laughs> my point, you're proving my point. But that's that's where like Jordan always come out and say like I don't consider myself the best editor because of I lay on the back of the Dr. J's. The, that's a lie. He you said believe that, that bullshit? Bro. Then that's the case. Then LeBron James said I'm not considered the goat because because Jordan I lay goal. on the back of Jordan and, and then and the same thing. Magic Johnson and nah, bro. he did say that he but said I never them, I never Doc, consider myself a scorer. Yeah, but then I can hear all that shit. But I'm more of so them like changed the, it. bro. They was gonna change the logo. What that got to do with anything as far as the impact of the game? This I understand is what I'm saying. that the game I'm wasn't not, global then. Of course, the, what they, game wasn't global? The NBA was not global bro, back stop, then. Yo, stop. When did the game go global? When Michael Jordan, when they started that fucking uh, oh dream team, when they started the dream team. Yes. What happened on that shit? LeBron Michael Jordan. Stunk. Did he make them? Yes. Yeah, and they fucking lost games. Jordan no, didn't. never. Who didn't lose games? Well, the first time. The what first the time. Fuck? You yeah, crazy. the first time. They lost a lot of games. The first time. Bro, they can't even win shit now. But the game was so much more progressed. Yo, stop. Yo, yo back stop, when Jordan yo, was. Yo, in... stop. So you saying, so look, you saying the international United game. States. You gotta listen. You gotta listen. You trying to say the international game didn't grow from when Jordan had the dream team. That shit went backwards. No, it did not, bro, bro. We was so everybody was scared of us. We never lost the game. You're not listening. We never lost the fucking game. What this is, is he the saying? Frustrating part. This listen, you're not. Bro, let me hear this shit. The international game has grown so much since Jordan and the Redeem team. So what that means is, if you look at the NBA today, the best players, majority of the best players are foreign players in the NBA. You got Webby. You got Luca. You got so many foreign players. You got Giannis. You got so many the of them. The point is what. Back in the day... We didn't have none of them motherfuckers. We was blowing everybody because out. Because the in, it wasn't an international but game yet. It didn't yet. matter. It didn't matter. Because, Jordan exposed listen, that shit. Kuko and all of them can go wherever the fuck they want to live and play. Kuko? Yeah, they can go <laughs> wherever... They can go wherever they, Kuko. they want to go wherever they live and play. United States Dream Team didn't have none of them, so they could have stayed wherever they wanted, and we bombed the Bro, shit I'm out I'm saying of them. the international game was... Basketball wasn't a global game yet. It he wasn't a global point. game yet. It he wasn't he exposed. My point. Like, you didn't my have... Point. No, I'm not. The fact that we got international guys Of course you're going to bomb everybody teams. that don't play basketball. It's like the, the football... No, no, hear what I'm saying. NFL the, is about to go... Uh, the football about to be in the Olympics. You're going to see the same shit happen. You got Tyreek Hill going against a mailman. Like, nobody wants to see that shit. It's going to be the same thing. But within 10, 20 years, Bro, you're going to start to see better international players. no motherfucking... Players. Hebrew or, or Israel or That's none of that shit point. gonna come in the NFL and play. That, that, is, that ain't even a valid point. We're not gonna do that. You say that now until Bro, you start. All right, they that's already they happen. already have it where a left tackle play international rugby, right? And ass. No, he is one of the best left tackles. He played for the Eagles. What are you talking about, bro? You not Bro. You're not making sense. He's all right. He you just you that. just emotional I'm arguing. not emotional. I'm uh -huh. trying to state the fact that. He changed the game. I get that. But LeBron changed the game in his own way. Power, didn't. Player he didn't empowerment. Do, yes, bro, he, he did, didn't do bro. anything that was fantastic. Player empowerment. He did do that. He didn't the, do anything that was... How business oh, you know what is he conducted did? in the NBA oh, is on, because bro. of we LeBron James. We're talking about the court. I don't Just, fuck about none of that. I don't that care is. about that. The same, the that same ain't the way, reason why the, he the goat. The same way, the same way Jordan changed the sneaker game. The same way Jordan changed the the whole bravado of like the game being international and you want to stick his tongue out and style and ball head you can and all say that type of stuff. Whatever you want to say. On, when I watched LeBron James, the only thing was fantastic is he threw some fucking powder in the air. Wow. Oh damn. Yeah. KG. Nothing Shout he do. KG. Nothing he did was like. Oh damn. I can't. I saw that. Yeah, where's his number? Because I want to be like Jordan. So how can you My, be better? How can you be the better goat? You're not. You're a how, goat, but not bro? the goat. How? I do. I tell you, who did it. you want me to tell you who did it? My that? number since I was a little kid was 21. If I make it to the league, I'm going to wear Why 21. Why did you pick 21? Because of Ladanian Thomason. So come in with your own number. Let me I'm tell not going to change my Let, number that not? been my shit. This why is my not? swag. This then is you're me. not a goat. That's you want me to tell you who did it? Let me tell you who did it. Kobe did it. Came at 23. Oh, no. I'm one better why, than Jordan. Why? Let me get 24. Let me get 24. That was Kobe. Kobe was his own. Because he's a dog. 
Cat. That's my point. Yo, You're proving my point. That has nothing to do with basketball, bro, though. It does. It does not. It, it does. has everything to do with attitude. No. And he don't have it. He's a punk. He has his own type of attitude. Yes, That's more I'm of a, a Magic shit. Johnson Yo, attitude. No, I, I'm more like, of what? a can I get a banana sandwich type of attitude. <laughs> <laughs> he don't have no argument, y'all. I want y'all to see I this shit. Argument, He's yo. arguing banana sandwiches yes, when it comes down what, to talking about what, Michael Jordan. Bro. Not no, Michael no, Jordan. No. You trying to make it sound like He's LeBron soft. James is soft. He if is. he was soft, then when they was down 3-1, three, three, he wouldn't have came back. If he was soft, he averaged 41 if one game. Came back the next dog. game, added another yo, 41. Then on top of that, dog, come back the next game. If he was How? low, I yes, do you one better. This is the bullshit talking about. If he was, listen, listen, hey, Diaz. Yo, who Diaz, cares? Who, Diaz. Look who carried if the team, If he was a though. dog, he would have never been down 3-1. To a better team? Yes. Le he would have never went down. Stop, Michael bro. Jordan was never, well, he one time was not the favorite to win. He had the better team. He had the better team what in all his finals besides one. I'm talking, I'm talking about... All right, so let me do this. The team? Let me do this. All right, no, All right, me, I, and I'm gonna let you go. To I'm gonna let you go. Point, as far as so my, li my my listeners can understand what the producer just said. What he said, they was a better team because they was he was on the team. Yes, that's true. But when the Bulls played without Michael Jordan, it was a 55 one team. One bad call, one bad call away from going to the finals Bro, again. You always talk about some shit that if they could have got there or they was no, second place. No, I, I don't understand. give a shit about second place. If you place. have the greatest player on, I don't if give you a have shit. the greatest player in this in this era right, right now, yeah, he gives that, let me ask that you extra this. six points or let, let me that difference and to make it to the next, that, that next You know why round. Jordan will always be the GOAT? He's the only one that did double three-peat. I give you that. Game over. No, Pop no. Against who? No, see, that's that bullshit. That's that bullshit. That's that bullshit. I knew you was going to do that, name these blank-ass facts, but at the end of the day... That is a blank fact. He had better teams. 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 You didn't let me even go into it. Bro, bro, he had better teams. Bro, you got to stop, yo. Chicago Bulls yo, had the super you, team of the do 90s. Do you know how hard it is to you win did. one championship in the NBA game, yes, regardless of I how get many. That. I'm not saying. Oh, the, I got a prime no, example. No, how many you, great teams you, have LeBron played on? He played on a bunch of great teams, right? Has he won anything back to back? He also played against. Has he won anything back yes. to back? What? Thunder. Who? He ain't win no fucking back to back. He did win back to back. Did he win back to back? Like LeBron never won back to back. Yes, he did. Diaz. 2012 and 2013, LeBron won back to back in Miami. Back yeah, and then he lost LeBron. to the then he lost to the Spurs, and not then a three peat. And then he, he lost to the Spurs. The teams are so much better that has now. Has nothing to do with it. They has still play at their level. To do with it, bro. Then that's the case, oh bro. You God. can't say that they play at their level. They're playing at their level. They are the best at bro. the best at their level, bro. bro. I'm just talking about. You can't about, do that. I'm gonna talk yo, about LeBron James' you losses can't do that. and his you losses. Can't do that, yo. And his losses to the Spurs. It's his loss to the Spurs. I can't talk about Jordan win. losses because he don't have you any. You can't. But you want you want to say shit like that just no, to just fact. to defer. It's the, a fact. I didn't make it up. His loss to the Spurs. Dwayne Wade averaged 15 points that series. What's your point? Bosh averaged 14. This so-called help that y'all be putting out there is is is. You the one he saying averaged, teams got help. He averaged 28, 7, and 4, that John. That, uh, John. I don't, that have to do His loss to the Warriors with KD when they played. So when they played. So when, when, no, when, the, when, for, the first uh, Steph Curry, John. He lost Kevin Love and uh, uh, Kevin Love and Kyrie. He averaged 35. He averaged 35, 8, and 13 rebounds. He led every st every single statistical category within that whole entire fi finals. Can I say something? That's not greatness. No. Can I say something? They he had no say how they were scoring every, 14 and 15. Every single Yo. every 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 single finals besides two, Jordan had a 20 plus score in Scottie Pippen, and then also had somebody else that was Bro, averaging why do you keep saying 15. Scottie name like he did so much? Because you trying to make him sound like he's small. He is. But LeBron... Yo, yo LeBron the motherfucker don't have no heart. LeBron and his losses, one, Kyrie and Kevin was hurt, playing against the 73 and whatever, t nine Warriors. And then on top of that, the next time he lost was against KD, where they had Steph. 
Clay, two of the arguably best shooters of all time, better than anybody back in the day. Steph is. Clay is right up there. And then when you talk about uh, they add KD to that? That's that's skeptical though. He dropped forty one. I don't I don't drop back into the nineties and be like, oh Jordan only won because of no. I don't, we don't do that with LeBron. Every time every time we get in these conversations about goat and all that stuff, it's always it's like these these like you take away from Jordan. I mean LeBron's greatness because of the fact that you give these 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 other art side arguments that seem like he only won because so of everything that you so just said. Besides besides Hold the on. fact that he dropped forty one, had thirteen rebounds and eight assists. No, he didn't change everything. Bro, you Boston keep talking did. about this motherfucker. Scottie Pippen is such a great dude. I'm looking at all the playoffs average. And it's not good. What? It's what the it? same fucking numbers you just said that all the rest no, of the it's team. Not. That, that's, bro, I'm looking no. at it right here. I pulled up every single 2004. 2004, when he was with Chicago in the playoff run, he averaged 5.9 points a game. 2004? 2003, yes. Old right ass Scotty. Hold on. Huh? Old Scotty, 2004. Okay, I'll slide all the way down. Bro, go to win 91. In 88, playoff run, 7.9 points. They didn't win nothing. 89, 14 points. They didn't win nothing. 90, 16 points. Nothing. 91, 17 points. No, we did not, it's bro. Right here. That's not the playoff. Right That's a season. Bro, Look. this is playoff stats. No, I'm going to pull it up. This is playoff stats. 91 average. NBA Finals. Go to Wikipedia. He averaged 17.8 uh, points a game. What is he talking about? In 92. What's that? He averaged Scottie 21. Pippen. Scottie Pippen in this series averaged 20.8 points. In 91, his whole playoff, not one series. No, I'm talking the about whole the final. Entire play Since right talking, I'm talking about final performances. Yes. Since y'all always talk about no. six for six, da, 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 he had help. It's my Bro, point. He had the same final points. No, that he they did, did not. No, he, he had his. And, All right, so watch in multiple this. games, okay. he had either hurt watch people this. Watch playing this. with Matthew Delvadova, or he had his his stars underperforming. On the Chicago Bulls, name another man that had double digits besides Scotty. Horace Pippen. Grant. No, 15 he did points. not. Yes, he, he did. did. Not, bro. Right here, bro. bro that's See, one that's season. how. No, look, that's no, one it's not, season. bro. Even when Scotty didn't score 20, he had Tony Kukoc come in and score 15. Bro, you got to so, stop, bro. These people that you name are you, not I, fucking superstars. I gave you sex. They are basic you, role players. He asked me the a question. The only superstar what was the question? name what? that you can name on what? that team that solidify is Scotty Pippen. All right, I'm going to put it to you this way. 15 points back in the 1990s was good as 15 points. It was not. It was 15 points it's no matter not, what. It's no. not. 15 oh, points oh, is not if good I, points. Listen to me. Listen to me. If I score 30, if I score 30. And then the next person to me scoring 20. That's 50 points right there. And the next and one then, is scoring eight. The next then, one is no, scoring nine. The no, next one is scoring six. No. That's how I win. No. But the game only went to 80 points half the time. I got out of my two stars, I got half bro, my points. Bro, you got to stop. Come on, man. You're naming the same amount of points as you naming with Where is though? And LeBron. The, LeBron got 100 two points. people that scoring 15 and 20 points. 100 had one points. person that was scoring 15 points. I scored points. 30. He scored 15. He scored 15. That's 60 points where the other team is scoring 100 plus points. Bro, we're not going to win this one. Like I said. Jordan, no, bro. LeBron Go at, is good. All LeBron I'm saying is, is when y'all talk, when y'all talk about that six for six and LeBron, you can't do nothing about it. He went ten. I can't. Out of ten, he went all four. All I say is, look at the reasons why he lost. So let me ask you a question. The real reasons. Let not me ask you a question. You emotionally let me feel, ask you a question. No, I'm with, taking away the emotions. This guy over I'm here. I'm not saying, taking. I'm taking away the emotions. I looked at legit stats. I walked I through. I just looked at legit stats. I, I didn't make that no, up. No, you didn't make that up. You said playoffs. I'm talking about the finals. Okay, okay. Let's go finals. I said playoffs. And then I did the playoffs because the playoffs is what I went down. I went down every single finals that LeBron lost. Every single one. Watch game six, game seven, what really happened, all that stuff, just to recap my brain and all that type of stuff. And I see where you say, like, all right, LeBron, not a dog, duh, 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 he was bitching, he was complaining. Duh, That's duh, what I get my that. whole point. But at the same time, in that game, that man had 34 points, 11 read rounds, 13 assists, came back the next game, same thing. Whereas though his teammates around him have like 12 points, six rebounds, Dwayne Wade underperforming, he got bad knees and all that type of shit. And then you, he, 
Kyrie get hurt, Kevin Love get if hurt. If you think I'm going to sit here and believe moves, that Bill Cartwright was a major help to See, the now, Chicago Bulls. I ain't saying nothing about no Bill Cartwright. Or you gonna I'm say, talking about Horace Grant, Tony bro, Kukoc, he wasn't 15 no points factor. a game. Yes, Horace Grant were. was not. Tony Yo, Kukoc you know was the Horace best Grant international was? player that ever came out and at that time. Shit with this, with, he with Chicago. averaged 15, he didn't do shit with Chicago. 15 to 20 points a game in his career, which was great back then. The best guards no, it back, was not the, great. The best guards back then averaged 24. Bro, Tony Kukoc was four points points away from that. He didn't get it. You always trying to give somebody almost their credit. No, you I'm always I'm, giving somebody no. almost their credit. No, it's not almost there. I'm 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 trying to put in context cuz y'all I'm, I'm doing say, pure numbers y'all say pure facts. Blank facts is like he wasn't shit. He, he wasn't. wasn't this, but he, he was wasn't. somebody. He Bro, was somebody. He, wasn't. he was somebody. He wasn't. He was Listen, somebody. You going you going to mean to tell me you going to give Grant props cuz he do clean up shit. You need that. Look Everybody at is fighting for the fucking ball. You need that. Bro, Warriors he's don't nowhere go near three Draymond. Three he's nowhere Warriors near don't Draymond. Go. He's bro, no come on. Grant is nowhere near Draymond, bro. You don't know that. That's what ifs again. I'm just not taking away from what Grant was to that team. I'm not taking away from what, right, let me ask what you this. Tony Kukoc was to let that team. I'm this. not taking away from let that. Let me ask you this. Y'all making it seem if like Grant it wasn't, wasn't there. On the team, if Grant wasn't on the team, do Jordan still would a chip? Probably. Pro- Yo, you got to be But this is, kid, this, is, this is this is this is this is the what is though. No, you I'm can plug I'm anybody just, in that spot. I'm just not taking bro, away from bro, what that man bro, did for that team. I'm not taking understand. away from what Kyrie did for LeBron. I yes, am taking he it away. went 41, but bro, at the same time, that bro. next game, Kyrie went 23, but LeBron still went 41. Yo. We don't get to game seven if it wasn't for my next 41, bro. But people don't talk about that. They only talk about the shot. I said they only that talk first. about the they only talk about the Ray Allen shot. But then who shot the shot before that? Who took over the fourth quarter? Wait a minute. Right. I'm not taking away from that. I'm not talking away. It is the perfect encapsulation of why Jordan is better than everybody, including LeBron. LeBron is never in the same 20 seconds made the game saving defensive play that he cleared everybody no. out and said, get the fuck out of my way and no. ended the championship. It's who who who, 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 who? Who did he drop? 55 that game? He dropped 55 that who, game. Who, 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 was, who was sticking him? Boy named Bill Russell? Some pussy ass. Like, come Bill, on, bro. No prop. Yo, come are you on, crazy? bro. Come on, bro. Let's do our research for real. Not, not Tim Duncan. What, what does that guy do with anything? It wasn't like he was like Dean him up. He came and cherry picked him, bro. Come on. I I get look look look. I get it. I get I get your argument. I get your argument. All I'm saying is the same way y'all give big ups to Jordan when he make clutch plays. Get the same shit to LeBron. I gave it to him. No, y'all not. I gave they it to him. They are everywhere. When we down by uh, and, and, no, when, bro. He's not driving. He's not driving to the paint, bro. Clutch time, he's not driving. So where his he's running around in the corner. When the shots he, come he's from. running in the corner on a fade and fall into the crowd. Where his Every seven game, one playoff Jones. Left side. Not, not left regular side. season Jones. Not regular season Left side. Playoff, Here we go. Game winning shots. He got seven. They're going to run they a high from? screen. If he's such a pussy, where that come from? He's going to run a high screen. Oh, here run we over go. in the corner. He not a, fade and fall into the crowd. <sighs> Bro, stop. That's not clutch? No. See how? No. That itself shows the problem with the LeBron and Jordan argument. Because if Jordan did that shit, that should have been praised. He did it multiple times. That right there, it shows He did it multiple times. The problem of the argument. Oh, he had the flu and he shot. That's great. Amazing. LeBron is but then if you when, smack his wrist. When LeBron go for 35 bro. and he cramping in his Spurs final and nobody looks at that bro. and say like, oh, that's great. It's like, oh, no, he shouldn't have been cramping. Yeah, see, you see what I mean? The heat in the stadium was like a million degrees. But see, again, again, and you got me. Six, listen, six nine, you, running full you speed. Got me, going cramp. You got me going into stats. I never wanted to go in stats. Because you have to. No, I don't. You, LeBron, never let me, you never no, gave me a shot. Because where LeBron, where LeBron That's lacks. That's not why he's no, goat. No, where LeBron lacks is when we start talking about 
like actual statistics. I'm not talking about stats. But I never did. This is where I learned. You talk. only can do this. Listen, I never wanted audience, to talk this, about stats. This, this is where nope. this is this nope. is where this nope. is where this is where me and G. Nope. This is where me and G get into it because I know how he argue. He gonna argue emotion. He gonna argue. No, feel, yes, I'm great. No, I never listen, got a listen, chance to listen. say it. I'm, I'm saying. You keep cutting me off. I'm saying this. Go ahead. This is I'll let I'm, you finish. This is what I'm saying. All G does. No, no, no. Speak your facts. I am speaking my facts. Don't go about me talking no, about LeBron I'm talking and talking about, about how you facts. argue. No. You try to get people to argue at the same level that you do. And what I mean by that is like, no, I wasn't going there. I'm not talking about stats. I'm not doing this. I'm not I talking about stats. I never was. You made exactly. me pull the stats I, out. I have to pull stats out. You yes. know why? Because at the end of the day, Jordan is black Jesus. He has an aura within our generation. It's the reason why you got black Jesus. Exactly. is the reason why you got black Jesus. Yes. You don't talk about LeBron, please. You've never seen anything like it. Since Jordan, you've seen Le Jordan, then you've seen Kobe, then no. now you've seen, you've, seen, you've seen a Vince Carter come into the league, high-flying, so it's not as special now. Bro, it is special because... No, like, if, it, if you okay, want... So if let you me, want if what is, now, let me ask what, you a question. All right, what I'm is so spectacular... About LeBron? About LeBron. I'm gonna That's going to make me say, oh, shit. I'm going to tell you what's so spectacular about what? LeBron. When I you try to create, if you go and you go on 2K or a video game and you're trying to create a player and you sit there and say, oh, shit, I want to be 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, six, I want to be able to... I want to be able to run a floor. I want to be able to pass. I want to be able to dunk. I want to be able to stick defense. I want to be able to rebound. I want to be able to get triple doubles every single... LeBron... Yeah, but that's 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 you. But when it comes down to it, these young boys, well, if you play 2K right I'm now, everybody build is like LeBron. Is, I'm not even entertaining that this. Can entertain. I am simply what I'm saying, saying. What makes him so spectacular I'm is that he's overall you. a better statistical. I'm not going off of stats. But you have no, to you when don't. you talk no, about you don't. LeBron. No, you don't. Because if you don't, that's all you have. you're going to be talking about sticking your tongue out and how you that's revolutionized the game the and goal. how he was the all right, one, so stand, the one man that. standing above all take, the take. others and how nobody well, what the else. what is a goat? He's explaining a goat. No, I'm not. I'm saying. Yeah. 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 No, I, I don't I don't think I don't think that's it. I think what it is is when you look at body of work, because at the end of the day, when we all pass away, you're going to go back and look at stats and you're going to say, all right, who was better? This person is this. He did this, this, this and this. This person was six for six. Da, 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 da. He's and Jordan win. No, he's he's the all time leader. All right, so watch he's this. the all time leader, but he won watch four finals. But he also if top five walk, and assists, but he's also watch number this. one scorer. Watch this. You don't see that watch anywhere this. else in I'm NBA. Gonna you, I'm gonna give you the Oh, go. he also I, rebound. I'm he give you the averaged go. more triple doubles than Jordan ever did. See, he keeps talking about stats. No, I don't give a fuck uh, about stats. Jordan, Jordan, stats is Jordan in the playoffs shit. got three three uh, triple doubles ever. Whereas though LeBron has. 29 or some shit like that. That means it. that means I have one player that can impact the game in multiple ways versus I have a score. Bro, stop. Anyway, I'm not talking about none of that. I'm yeah, not but talking it'd be about like none of that. Six rebounds, three assists, two steals. And I'll score so six. LeBron got 37, 11 rebounds. Eight. And don't win shit. He do win shit. You bro, he did it four, four times. He did it four times. That's it. With teams, you went ten. But he playing better teams. He has He's better playing teams. Better teams. He has better teams. Who else besides bro. John Stockton and Carmelo was stop. on that Utah team? You gotta stop, bro. You gotta Don't stop. worry. You gotta I'll stop. Wait. Who else? You gotta was stop, on? yo. Who? You gotta stop, who else yo. Was on the team? <laughs> yeah, he's over here tripping. He is Pretty saying crazy scorer. shit who right now. Who else was on that team, bro? If that's the case, then LeBron should have ten chips because he had multiple superstars on his fucking team. That teams. wasn't performing in the finals. Why you keep saying that? You because they, they got I, the same numbers as fucking Joe. Oh, no, Scottie Pippen. when he wins, the same numbers when as he Scottie. wins. No, when he wins, you don't see any drop within LeBron's performance when he goes to the finals. Just like you don't see anything on Jordan's side when he goes to the finals. He's going to get his 30 plus. He had one series where he scored 41, and now no, he's he against the Suns. No, he didn't. He no, had a lot I, more than that. One series he had a lot where more he, than that. Listen, you're not listening. He had one series where he averaged 41 in the finals. Everything else, he's going to get his 30, but at the end of the day, he need his counterparts to be able to perform. I'm saying it's the what same. Counter, and, and the LeBron Pippen is the hardest great. Yes, he do. And I'm saying when they performed, they won. When they performed, they won. Four times. 
better. Why is they teammates? Was all, if they, they made him better, why his teammates don't like him? Because he puts why, the shit why out Scottie of him. Why Scottie Pippen mad as shit at because, Jordan right now? Because he's not Jordan. Why does get, Grant get on the drum and be like, or, he on put, like, yo, like, you talking about fucking no, bums? No, it's because you talking they about did not bums like that. that was because he no, pushed bro. the shit out of them. You want me to tell you why he don't like them? You want me to tell you why they don't like them? Because they Jordan didn't give them the excuse or the room for weakness. He pushed the shit out of them, and everybody don't like to be pushed. These motherfuckers is pussies, and you know they are. So Horace Grant is a fucking bum. He always been a bum. Jordan made him good. You see, then he got you on see another what I mean? team. You see what I mean with this I'm, argument? I'm now, lying. now Jordan made these good. But he, if I say what? Jordan made Kyrie, I mean LeBron made Kyrie good, or he did. LeBron made made Kyrie was good already. Kyrie was good already. He was a champion. Kyrie was, hasn't won nothing. He has not won nothing. Sniffed nothing. See nothing. Don't forget that Jordan had one of the greatest coaches of all time. Don't forget oh, that. God. Don't forget. You can have, bro, you play sports. You can have the coaches bro, all you he want. he won five and, without Jordan. Don't do that. He had fucking, he had, he had the next baby Jesus. Exactly. So what are you saying? That's my point. That don't mean nothing. I don't need Jordan. I'm a great bro, coach. I could get Kobe. Bro, stop. He ain't go nowhere else unless it was Kobe. He's not going nowhere oh, to win. God. Bro, he did not win before he had fucking Jordan. Bro, stop it. He wasn't really a coach. He was bro. overseas somewhere coaching. And wasn't winning. He was winning. That's why they brought him to the NBA. Bro, you got to stop. If you fucking believe on on this guy, Green Earth, that fucking, uh, what's his name, would have went anywhere else in the NBA, he waited. He got five he went, championships without Jordan. Yes, what who coach, did he have? What he coach had Kobe Bryant. Has anything without LeBron. He went with to Kobe Bryant, bro. Which coach has... Bro, he had it better. No, it wasn't. He had Kobe and no. Shaq. He bro. had Kobe and Shaq. And then he won without Shaq. And he just had... And he still had Kobe. Exactly. But that's my point, though. But that's my point, though. Can you say that... Can you say that about anything that LeBron coaches? They have not sniffed the title since. You have person, one person that went to the finals, and who beat him? LeBron James. No, he didn't. He he didn't. He didn't kick. He didn't kick out. He didn't kick out the coach for the Heat. He's still there. What you talking about? So, listen. Let me. This is what I was trying to say. wasn't the head coach when he came down. What's his name was still coaching, and he he brought Spolstra down to be head coach. Um, Pat Riley? Pat Riley. Spolster was like year one. Literally year one. And he and won? Because of LeBron? LeBron all of it, bro. Like, so th this is LeBron. what I was trying to say. I wasn't going to no stats. I know you wasn't, but I, I had didn't to care about stats. I didn't care. Only, thing, only that thing I was trying to say was the reason why Jordan was the GOAT is because of the feelings that you got when you watch this man game. I know. The feelings, the things that he did to see what your naked eye was virtually unbelievable. Right. To so, go up, let me finish, bro. Uh, to go up in the air, to go underneath it, and let the ball go. You never seen no circus act like this. And it wasn't luck because he did it time and time and time again. I do you one better. He go down there, boom, spin around in the air, and do that, flip the ball, and the ball go in. That is great shit. LeBron is not doing that kind of shit. I'm not talking about points. I'm talking about the shit that you can't explain. That's what make you the GOAT. Prime example, you keep talking about Jesus. Jesus is great because he walked on water. That is above and beyond of any human being that, that can do. Nobody can do that shit. That's what make you great. I'm not talking about shooting a basketball. I'm not talking about getting steals and championships. I was never talking about that. That's not what made Jordan great to me or to anybody that got a chance to watch him. Prime example, when he was playing the Lakers and he went up like he was going to do a dunk and turned around and reversed it. Name one player in the NBA history can athletically do that movement. Go ahead. Talk about LeBron. He can't do that movement, bro. You know why he can't do it? Because his brain don't think like that. That's why Jordan is the GOAT. The moves that he make is unthinkable. And That's uh, all I was saying. Yeah, so... I, I understand that. So my problem with this argument is because that's why I began the argument the way I did, because those same feelings that you had, I had growing up. And now to go and have to orchestrate. You got to go with points. Yeah, I got to go. But it doesn't and, and matter. That's why I said I understand why these young boys say LeBron is the greatest, because when you look at stats and you look at what you want to be as far as an all around basketball player and you want to be able to rebound assist score do everything to impact his game whereas though you have a man that statistically 
led every category in the finals for both teams. And y'all trying to say that's not greatness. It's no. His, it's, their, it's his fault that they lost. And I'm saying, no, it's not his fault. What about the motherfucker right there that was supposed to score 20? But when you he look at the he stats, do that. he scored 20. No, he did not. Okay, bro. so that's here, my here, point. Here, that's yeah, what I was here, trying to but argue. But you read it. But you read him. He scored 17. Okay, he's No, three I said off. 14, 15. That's big. That's 10 points. Bro, we stop. lost by 10. Bro, stop. If I got If I got 20 points out of my two best scores, my two other best scores, we win the game. Okay, so what about the finals? When he went in close games in the fourth quarter and drew up a blank, no points. Your GOAT, your leader, has to put the ball in the basket. You have to. You cannot win as a superstar and not help your team. And I don't give a fuck about steals. I don't the, give a fuck about rebounds because they are not points. We are talking about points. He go, he showed the biggest block on him was he do not show up in big games. Was that but his that was, knock? Was yes, that LeBron yes, knock? Yes, yes. When he showed when big go, final games come up. He don't show up. That if was you, the big knock if on If you go and look at the game, if you go and look at the stats, if you go and look at what actually is, is besides our emotion, because we be like, we feel like he should have shot that instead of passed it to the corner. Bro, you went right to the rim. Right. <laughs> only, only thing you got to do now is turn it over. Right, but my point is... Bro, when you jumped, if you your take, whole fucking chest if, was over the if, rim. If you go and you actually watch the game and you go back and be like, damn, he was impact. He got that <sighs> rebound. He went and shot that shot. He made that. And that is the he difference. He ran back down, got that still. And that is the made difference that pass. Jordan. They came back and then did, did, did do this and do that. And, that's the and then now Ray Allen finally make a shot, and you like, oh no, Ray Allen's the greatest. And that is the and difference like, between no, Jordan bro, like, and LeBron. Not, did you not see this man? Huh? Yeah. The who? Second, Second hour. hour. Yeah. Oh damn, we got to cut this short. <laughs> yeah. All right, but that is the difference between Jordan and LeBron. LeBron is going to make that, that right. hurry up and get it off me. I don't want that kind of pressure. That's not what he did, bro. He, everything that people said he couldn't do, he's done. Took him a long time to do it. <laughs> what is? I'm not talking about what is. Do I go back and Jordan and look at his game? Like, what if this person was in the game? What if, what, how? Yes, it is. He got bro. six of them. He did it. He didn't, there was no It is ifs. so. There it was is no so. Ifs. It is so. What? It is so. What game? All of them. <laughs> every single, every spinning sporting event. No. Close don't count. <laughs> Can't do it, bro. He did it. I don't, that's why I keep saying you keep talking about the guys that almost got there. I'm talking about the guys that's there and that did it. He the bull did that it. was sticking Jordan for that last shot. You told I shouldn't have been sticking him. Huh? The bull. It didn't matter who could have stuck him. No, but that's he my point, though. He the shit out of him. No, that's my point, though. Nah, bro. He had a little mean cross matter? It don't matter. It, it don't, don't matter. It don't matter. It, it don't matter if he took him in or put him out or whatever the case may don't be. Matter. In LeBron's case, facts is facts. And I'm just saying, like, treat and it the, the same way. Is who got two three peats? Jordan. <sighs> I dropped the mic again. Ball game. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. And we know this who's the GOAT. The, I need some young boys in here next time. All these young old boys. heads <laughs> born in the 1980s and no, shit no. like that. No, that's not true. Like, I'm going to tell you. When I watch um, the young boy, um, what's his name? Three-pointer boy. Steph. When I watch Steph, damn, that shit is amazing. Yeah. That shit that can't be done. That's GOAT status. That's GOAT status. Does uh, motherfucker just inbound the ball and shot it? Uh, That's goat status. I just need some young boys in here. I'm no, recruiting no, young, no. Young, young, I'm, I'm giving young, you an I'm example recruiting, of look, goat status. I'm recruiting young men to just go and stand around. That's fine. And that way I can point to y'all. That's fine. No, <laughs> y'all just y'all just give me some no, hypeness. That's just all I'm doing. You, I'm recruiting young I'm boys. I'm just giving you anybody, goat status. Anybody about like 28 and under. Like you can't twenty eight and under, right? You can't have. I'm gonna have. You can't have. I pay y'all a penny a day. You can't say that this dude is goat doing normal shit. He wasn't doing normal shit, bro. Triple doubles. Bro. Triple doubles. Triple doubles. What's his name? Triple been doing doubles. that shit his whole fucking Who? career. Who? Uh, uh, what's and his name? Don't say Russell. Russell. Yes. No, he been not doing it his whole not career. playoff clutch what? performances. What? No. This motherfucker no. lead. Did he not no. lead the league no. in triple doubles? He do not have a what championship. About? He do not have a championship. The, the, the triple when double don't need... have nothing. The triple See, double is a triple double. No. Did you say triple a... double chip? 
Hey, it's almost guaranteed. If you get a triple double, you're gonna run a chip. No, oh God, triple double is a triple double, bro. Dumb shit. That's dumb shit. That's it's the not. that's the dumbest argument I've ever seen. A triple double in an NBA closeout game versus a triple W in a in a in a November game where nobody give a fuck. Bro, that's that, not goat shit. In a championship game, being able to impact the game in every single way is not goat shit. No, that's your opinion. It's crazy. Goat shit is like, whoa. I've never seen a human do that on a you God's never, green earth. You never seen someone impact the game the way LeBron has. You have, bro. You got to stop. No, you got to stop. You haven't. You, you haven't. never seen nobody you impact haven't. the game like Jordan. You from, haven't. From the fans to Either being one, at home, though, I'm not to saying, being everywhere. I'm not arguing. I'm not you arguing. Wrap that. up. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, play the Oscar was. No, All right, bro. thank you everybody. No, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. They're trying to him the winner. You know, he's a bullshit. He is the winner. He ain't say no facts. I did say stats. Six for six. Six for six. That's six all I gotta six. say. Boom, drop six the mic. I'm out of here. Three P. Three P. Huh? Yes. Hey, thank who? Uh, uh, oh, we gotta say goodbye. Thanks for coming out. God bless and good night. Make sure y'all comment. Let yeah, them know yeah. that I won this argument. If y'all listen and go do y'all research, y'all will understand. Yeah, what I'm whatever. Saying. Yeah. Where we, my young boys? Leave at? y'all comments. Young boys, y'all got to watch some Jordan highlights to understand what we're talking about. So let's keep it no, fair. No, go watch the game. Man. Watch the game. That's even better. For 22 free Nin- throws. That's even better. That's even better. Watch some of the Jordan games. Watch some of the LeBron games, and you're going to see what we're talking about. Free throws. That's what we're going to talk about. Now you get to see what the status of a GOAT is because everybody just give everybody the title, the, the title of a GOAT and don't know what it means. That's the problem. Yeah. But thank you guys for watching. We love it. They're kicking us out. Uh, they turning the mics off. They unplugging shit. Yeah, because we uh, we'll be more, here all day long. You, I'm glad you ain't bullshit. reading no more of that bullshit. <laughs> LeBron, the GOAT over fucking Jordan.